Is this not your house? It is. Any problem? No, not at all. No problem. Let's go inside. Madam. Madam, I thought you said you were coming for a business meeting. This is a meeting. A sexual meeting. Madam, please, I am married. Anita. Okay. Anita. I'm sorry. I am married. And I promised my wife never to cheat on her. I know you're a good man. And I don't, I, I don't mean to spoil you. Just that there's this electrifying sensation that goes through my brain anytime I set my eyes on you. I cannot resist you. It burns my heart every day. Please quench this fire before it touches me. Please. This. This. Stop. No, I am sorry. Just, just kiss me. Kiss me. Well, Touch sorry, me. Hold me. Kiss me. Please. 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 If there is no business meeting, let me go. Feel my heart. Feel my heart. Touch my Madam, head. My what, what, I'm, I'm hot. I'm hot. What you're you doing is irritating me. I respect you. At least respect my marriage. If there is no business meeting, then let me go back to the office. Now. You're a fool. Which office are you going back to? You are sacked. Go back home to your miserable wife. Do not insult my wife. Leave. I've done nothing to warrant this sack. I've been loyal to the affairs of the company. And nothing of your doing warrants your employment in the first place. I employed you. And I have sucked you. Get the hell out of my house. You are senseless. Get out of my house. No man has ever rejected me before. With all my wealth and beauty, men do crazy things to get my attention. Gosh, you could have been on me, hitting it hard on me now. That guy is mad. Oh my goodness. 
Is it possible for a man to ever reject a woman like me? This is impossible. What came over Patrick? Mm -hmm. I think he just wants to pull his stones, yeah? But I'm waiting for him. I know he will come back for his job. He can't do without that job. I'm very sure about that. <laughs> Patrick, I'm waiting. That incident happened a long time ago. But I can't seem to get it off my head. People pay money to sleep with some cheap girls. But this guy left his job because he doesn't want to make love to me. He never left his job. You sat him, remember? I thought he was going to come back the next day or something like that. Hmm? He thought he was going to come back the next day or something like that. He knew you wouldn't let him have his job again until he sleeps with you. Why is it difficult for him? Is he a different species of man? <laughs> Anita, listen and listen good. For the fact that Edwin was promiscuous, does not mean that every other man out there is promiscuous. Save me that. All men are promiscuous. Please. <laughs> you just bust your bubble. Patrick has proven otherwise. Look, Anita, I've told you countless times to stop living your life carelessly because of your ugly past. At least, Patrick has proven that there are still other good men out there. Just that you were not lucky enough to find one for yourself. You know what? If I must tell you the truth, you owe that man and his family an apology. He ignores me like I'm a nobody. I need to know what gave him the temerity. You deserve that. You deserve more than that.
sitting here crying like a baby. You should be walking like other women. Mama, I have not. I've not been walking for some time now. That is the problem. Yes, that is where the problem is. Uh -huh. Who was the meaning of that? I don't know. Why is grandma acting like that? She's always angry and shouting. When other people grandma visit them, they get so excited. She brings them lots of goodies. When I was visitor, she brings us trouble upon trouble. Yes. But what she does displayed now, it means we are in for another trouble. Big one at that. Yes. She's so mean. Ah, very well. But look at me, she did look at my own now. You have refused to be useful to yourself. And to my son. And you have also refused to let my son be. What have I done to you? Tell me, what did I do? Mama, I don't understand. I am living well with my husband. You are living well with your husband. Yes. And you don't understand. Don't worry. Very soon, you will understand. Where is Patrick? Patrick! Patrick! He went out. To do what? He went to hunt for a job. Jesus! How? Chimebuamo! How? Chimebuamo! Hey! A boy, I sold all my rappers to train in the university. You have turned him into a hunter. So, my son will go out in the morning hunting for bush meat while you sit back here eating and getting fat pretending that you are crying. Mama, I said job hunting, not bush meat hunting. What is the difference between hunting? Agroma, I went to standard seas. Hunting means in a water. My son now is a hunter. In a bath, in a bath, a person that hunts for bush meat. Hey, people are your wife. You're not a wife material. If you're a wife material, how many years are you? My Patrick, bush meat hunter. Hey.
came. Mm -mm, I come. Mr. Hunter, I can see you did not catch any bushmeat today. But you see, it would have been better you were hunting in the village of Oboto, in the bushes of Oboto, where there are too many bush meats and the opportunities to catch meat than to be hunting in the city. Oh, well, thank you for your suggestion, but you would have at least informed me that you'd be coming. Huh? Yeah, I would have taken permission from you before coming to see you, my own son. That's against me. Mama, you know, liar. you know my situation. What is your it's situation? It's not just rosy for me now. Uh, if it's not rosy for you, let it be hibiscus. But let me tell you, you are a disgrace to me. Yes! But you know what? I've made up my mind that I won't let my suffering and all I went through to see you through and make sure you come of age be in vain. Let me tell you one thing. I know very well you cannot feed me. So breaking news, I have not come to stay. I'll go back to Oto. Listen. Because name Oto. And I've come to tell you that I've gotten a better wife for you. Who knows the importance of building a home? What it takes to build a home and build a man. I'm a wife for what? Once again. I have a wife already and kids. Male and female for that matter. So there's no need for another wife. You see? I just said a boto. And you're proving to me you are the original to no, 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 okay, to You are true now. If you're not cool, you'll not be talking rubbish. Let me tell you. Since you got married, you've totally become useless. Moru Riba. That is because you insisted to marry that stupid woman I told you that she is not wife material. I warned you. You didn't listen. You know. You are too. Hey, Moto. You are too. You are too. You are too. You are too. You What did she say to you? Nothing. What are you crying? Stupid people! Stupid husbands! Stupid wife! Stupid children! Now, where are you going to? It's late. Where are you going to? Huh? Oboto is not far from here. Yes! It's just a few hours to Oboto. And I cannot sleep here. It's very obvious you cannot feed me. But let me tell you one thing. All my labor to make sure you become a man in life will not go in vain. So you're coming back home to marry a woman who understands what it takes to build a home and not this pretender here. Mama. Yes! Is she the only beautiful woman Mama. that is tall? Mama, don't just inflict pain Shut on her! My wife because she has I... big bum bum and beautiful. For that, I should swallow rubbish. Nonsense! Mama, she is not a this. wife material. You can't continue she doing this. She is not a wife material. You can't just continue she doing this, Mama. Baby, sweetheart, please, I am sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I, I, I promise I will never leave you. This is not the first time your mother is talking to me in this manner. I know. 
But you see, it's time you start ignoring her words. Mama cannot come between us. I'm sorry. Okay? You know I love you. Come and give me a hug. Sweetheart, why are you baiting yourself with your own tears? What's going on? Nothing. I'm no, fine. come on. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me nothing. You know I hate to see you cry. Your tears hurt me. What is going on? What is it? I'm sorry. Have you gone to Johnson's Nigeria? Yes, I've gone to submit my application there for like three times. Go back there tomorrow. They're employing people now. I'm positive that you'll get the job. <sighs> okay, okay. Surely I'll go there tomorrow. I will. But please, please. I do not want to see your tears anymore. Okay? Just wipe your tears. Okay? Don't cry again. You good? Come on, let's. Go inside. Ah, you're still out. Yes, I had a terrible nightmare. I wonder why your parents did not call you Joseph the Dreamer. So tell me, what is it? I don't understand why you don't like Anna. My daughter-in-law. Our daughter-in-law. Wait, was that what you saw in your dream? Nedi, since that girl was married into this family, you have never given her a moment of peace. A moment of peace. Goethe, I thought you have something serious to say. But let me tell you, 
from the first day she came into this family, I made it open to her that she is not welcomed here. And she thought I was joking. Was I joking? Lady Biko, Biko, Agent Chineke, Chukwu Kikabi Amau, Nayogi. Don't harm that innocent girl. Oh. Remember, your daughter is married to another family, mm -hmm. and they have not killed her. Biko, wait. Are they not afraid? No, tell me. Is the person not afraid, afraid. if they touch her and it gets to my ear? <laughs> I'll pour fire in that family. Uh, uh, of course. I don't need to talk much because they already know who I am. They know me very well. And here you are tormenting another person's child. Ned, you need to change. You need to change. Change, oh. Bonye. Where is change coming from? I need to change. Change from what? From a good mother to a bad mother? God forbid. I told her she is not welcomed. I am only protecting my son. So I cannot change from good to bad. Now I call, I call rubbish. If you don't know what to say, go to bed and sleep. Nightmare. Joseph. Come, the, the talking rubbish. Eh? In a cup of punya. Nya, 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 nya. Nya, 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 nya. I had the nightmare. Baby. Can be a pag. Let me come and carry you like. Hey, tell me the night smell. Uh -huh. Don't tell me your nightmare next time. Sometimes I ask why is life so unfair to me And why is everything so hard for me Why am I always crying why, why, why? God Sometimes I wonder if I am So I'm going to trek from here to that company For less than two hours God please help me What kind of breakfast is this? I won't doubt. Two slices of bread and tea without milk. It's not better we drink Gary than to eat it. No, if we drink Gary now, when we come back from school, we'll still drink Gary. This is not acceptable. I shouldn't go to school talk than to eat this. No, <laughs> me, I am going to school. I am not eating this thing. In fact, why are you giving it to me? Keep it now. Sometimes I ask why is life so unfair to me? And why is everything so hard for me? Why am I always crying? Mommy, you are going hungry to school today. I'm sorry about that. 
Don't worry, I'll prepare something good for both of you to eat by the time you come back from school, okay? And very soon, your father will get a good job and you will no longer go to school hungry. Huh? Yay! Okay, okay mommy. I love you too. I love you too. Okay, mommy, we have to go now. Take care yes. of yourselves. Okay, let's run. Bye. Bye, mommy. Baby, I'm leaving already. Take care of yourself for me, okay? Are you good? Good. I'll see you soon. Sometimes I ask why is life so unfair to me? And why is everything so hard for me? Why am I always crying? Why, why, why? Sometimes I wonder if I am unlucky Sometimes I wonder if I am unfortunate I watch everything get from bad to worse Why me? All this got me asking questions every day What? What is it? Enter, let me drop you For what? Huh? Why are you disturbing my life? I've asked you to stay away from me Stay away from me I can see you're in a hurry I just want to help you. Let me drop you. I hate this way you're suffering. Is it your sofa? Is it your own? Eh? Does my sofa concern you? Please stay away from me. Leave me alone. Patrick! Let me drop you. Mr. Man, how may I help you and who are you looking for? Okay, I heard of a job vacancy here, so I decided to come and see if I can get the job. No problem. See, you have to go now. If you go, follow the, the, the other side. Okay. Good day. Yes, how may I help you? Oh, my name is Patrick. Right. Okay, have a seat. You're welcome. Thank you. Ooh. How's work? Oh, very fine. Oh, it's fine. Like Jane here, AC and everything. Uh -huh. Our day is so hot. Um, oh. The work is very tedious. Uh -huh. Guy is so stubborn. He's so stubborn. Oh my god. Who? Patrick. After the last incident, he has hardened his heart towards me. <laughs> he knew you were wrong at what you did to him. Uju, you've told me that a million times, and I said I was sorry. I even apologized to him, but he refused to listen to me. I even asked him to return to the company, but he said no. What do you want me to do? I, I just. He has ego. Why is his ego so bloated? Why? You know what, Anita? You have to take it easy on your own self. Calm down. I saw that young man the other day. He was looking so unkept. 
I mean, that young man is really, really suffering. I saw him today. He was running to work, I guess so, because I saw him holding a fine. I offered him a lift. He said no. He turned me down. Ego! <laughs> You know, I'm laughing. <laughs> I don't need to laugh, please. <laughs> you can't do that to a young man and expect him to sweep it under the carpet. It's impossible. That young man must have gone through a whole lot on his life. A man with a family? You took food out of that man's mouth. Not just his mouth. His wife and that of his children's mouth. And you are expecting him to be happy? But I offered him his job back. He refused me. He turned me down. What do you want me to do? I think I need to go talk to his wife. I think I have to do it right away. Uh, I, I, it's, a good, it's a good idea. I know. Try, try, try. Okay. She would definitely convince him to return to the company. I think you have an idea now. Seriously. <sighs> Husband Snatcher, what are you doing in my house? What are you doing in my house? Madam, please calm down. Calm down. I have no bad intentions against you or any member. Oh, shut up! You have no bad intention against me or any member of my family, okay? Yet you sacked my husband. You sacked him because he refused to sleep with you. But can you do target something? You sacked him. And you're here telling me that you don't have any bad intention against me or my husband. Why didn't you pay those small, small boys? Those sugar boys that are ready to do you anyhow, anytime. And I'll talk man and Jim just the way you want it. Why a married man? Eh? Why did you go after my husband, a married man? When you sacked him, did you think of his family? If you claim that you, you didn't have bad intention, did you think about his wife and family? Eh? Come down, come come down, you're in my house. Don't tell me to come down. Everything you said is correct. That is why I want him back to the company. Huh? Hey, hey, hey. You want my husband, Odogun Wokem, Okuloka, back to your company? Hmm? So you have devised another means to lure him to your bed. Even when I walk and you want to have the taste of him, okay? It will not work. Never! For your information, my husband has found another job. A better one at that. Yes, a better one. But I promise you something. Heaven will not forgive you for what you made me and my family pass through because of you. Now get out of my house. Or say, Madam, please. Get out! Get out before I smash your head and no fear. I I don't mean any harm. I want him back. You want to have a taste of my sweet husband. Big, strong, reliable. Come what I'm and no fear. So he even told his wife about this. This man is another breed of man. This is strange. How could he love his wife so much as to tell her a thing like this? Hmm. This is the true meaning of marriage. Now I know that what I did with Edwin was not marriage. <laughs> Uh, I love you too. Yes, I love you too. Come, 
You know I will always come around to see you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, it's okay. Call the call. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye for now. I heard you loud and clear. You love her, right? Anita, that was my brother. Hmm. Yes. I can't tell my brother. Oh, Edwin. You know what? Most times I think you deserve an upload. <laughs> For the way you lie without stress. You don't even trust me, Anita. You don't trust me at all. No, Anita, when will you start believing in me? When? Believe in you when you lie. Believe in a lie. <laughs> Except I don't know it's a lie. Stop all these lies. If not, you won't like my reaction. Nonsense. Yeah, hello, Marcus. Yes. Meet me at Twin Tower Hotel. And come ready. When I mean ready, I mean ready. Eight hours non-stop. Yes, and if you know you cannot go eight hours non-stop, don't bother coming. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Believed in lies and deceit. With our hands, we cut the cords that joined off as husband and wife. Then, we blame people for our errors and still live in them like it's normal. Life could be sweeter when it's pure. I wish I can have a rewind. Young lady. Uh, uh, yes, um, Mr. Patrick, if you know you cannot wait, you can go home to come back another day. And then I will tell him you came. Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not. I, right, I'll fine. wait. I'll wait. I can't go anywhere. I'll fine, go fine. I can see I'm very busy no, right now. No problem. I'm here. I'm fine. I can't just go home like that. Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you? Fine, sir. Where's Mr. Patrick? Yes. Hello, sir. Hi. Mr. Patrick, how are you? I'm good, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, please show him to his office. Okay. He's the new general accountant. Okay. <laughs> well, um, here. That's your appointment letter. Enclosed in that brown envelope is the sum of 200,000 naira. So, gets you ready for a resumption on Monday. Thank you so much. Um, um, unless I forgot. Can you drive? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's good. Do you have a driver's license? It's, it's just go and renew it. Well, then, in that case, I think you should renew it before Monday. Yes, because um, you're entitled to an official car. And um, upon resumption, your car will be presented to you. So, 
Mr. Patrick, yeah. see you on Monday. Okay, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's a win. Oh, that, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Jumping up and down, dancing like a new boxing. <laughs> what? Wait, did you get the job? Of course, as you can see, I've gotten the job. Oh my God! I am the <gasps> chief accountant of this company. Hey! I soak myself with the blood of Pawai. <laughs> so, sir. I'll see you. Huh? Good morning. Good afternoon. Hey! Open the gates. My new boss. Yes, open the gates. Hey! <laughs> hey! You get the job? Yes. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> hey! So this is how this life is. The man that came here and been knocking pop 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 for me few hours ago has now become my own boss. What can I say? Good morning. Hey! Bam, 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 bam. God, God, you need to change me. You need to change me. You need to change my life. Eh? I don't do any other thing, no. I don't sin. Somebody like me need to be changed. Under a few hours. Bam! I'll become boss. Ha, mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is life for self, boy. Baby! Baby! Oh my god! Baby, come, I have a good news for you. Our God has done it again. Where are you? Come, 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 come. Where are you? Come, 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 come. God has done it again. Yeah! Come on, come on, come. Stop this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come. God has done it. Are you ready? Are Okay, okay. God has done it again. Eh? Babe, hold on now. What is it? Baby, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know you're happy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'll give it to you. I know, I know. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I want it now. Baby, stop! What is it? What has come over you? You want to do your very style. Back. Oh, so stop this, stop this now. Do back, do back, do back. The door is open, oh. Baby, stop. What is wrong with you? What has come over you? What is it? Come, 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 let me your tell you. Your dog is not working again. Yeah. I will go outside and look for somebody that will give me hot hot. This is serious. Hot hot. Sweetheart. Hot hot. What is wrong hot, with you? Hot hot. What is wrong with you? Hmm? Your dog is not working again. It... I want hot hot. Hot hot. Hot hot. hot, hot. Stop, Stop this now. Can okay. you name it? Okay. Are you ready to give me hot hot now? Yeah, okay, yes. Yes, ready? yes, yes I'll, give ready. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, stop. Hey, hey. wait. Did you get him? Hey. What is it? What is this? What is going on? Baby, don't, 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 see, 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 see. I have gotten a job. Okay? Yes, let's go inside. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Stop, stop. Let's go inside. So I'll give it to you, okay? Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I, baby, stop, stop. I, okay, okay. Hey. Hey. Watch. 
I, 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 see, I, I got a job today and getting home, I met, a, I met my wife in a very bad condition. Bad condition? Yeah, yes. What happened to her? I, I don't know. I, I, when I saw her, she was just behaving funny, almost naked. She was just saying the things that I know my wife would never say. Naked? No, 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 that's strange. My wife almost says, this. Ah. Okay. I'll, um, you can go. I'll come and see you. Okay. Come and see. Okay. It's done. Okay. Thank you. Okay.
Locked. It's locked. No. Oh, no, please wait. Oh, my goodness, baby. Oh, my into a vehicle and the party was literally crying like a baby oh my god where are they now i wouldn't know i mean that young man is really suffering i feel pity for him he's already looking for straight i'm coming why you up to anita wow. To your mommy? Nothing happened to our mother. We just came back from school and the door is locked. Oh. Yes, and we are hungry. I haven't eaten since morning. Mm. So sorry, kids. Mm? I have lots of food and drinks in my house. Do you mind coming with me to my house? We are very tired. We can't so, me. Yes. My turn me. I think my car. My car is parked right outside. Okay? Just come with me, okay? Mm? Alright. Let's go. <laughs> My leg. Oh. You are my nephew. I am the only surviving sister to your late mother. And you know I cannot deceive you. But you know one thing with young youth of nowadays. You like doing things your own way. And I may gara gara. But at the end of the day, it will still not go well. I found you a lot of kills to marry. But you said no. And went ahead to marry in kitchen. Now look at what she has done to you. You forget. Auntie, but I love her so much. I don't know why she betrayed me this way. I don't know why she did this to me. 
You love her so much. Yes, I do. Let me tell you. What an elder sees while sitting. If you like, climb the top of the highest mountain. You will not see it. I know very well, right from the onset, that she's very promiscuous, just like her mother. Her mother's promiscuity took the life of her father. Have you not heard? No, tell me. Have you not heard? Auntie, it is not good to judge a child by the sins of her parents. In other words, Roma, you are telling me in English language that you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover. Manakangwagi is a lie. Some sins are genetic. They somehow stick to the children even after their parents are long gone. But I so much believe you have learned your lessons. What do I do now? Eh? As the youth leader of this land, everyone knows me. Every youth in this great kingdom knows me. How do I cover this shame? Hey, what do I do? I love that. You cover this shame by getting another wife. What? Nebola. Another wife? You don't know. Send her away. Mm -hmm. Send her back to her parents' house. Yes. Since she has failed in her duties as a woman, eh? Send her back to her parents and forget about her. Me. I will personally get you a good wife to marry. A woman that knows all it takes to take care of a man. A woman that will give you the joy that you desire. That is how to cover the shame. Yes, cover the shame by getting a good wife. And see. Hmm? Juhas, what's up? Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Sit down, sit down. Make yourselves comfortable. Thank you. Your house is beautiful. Thank you. I'm coming. <sighs> okay, kids. You have to make do with this. Thank you. While I get you something to eat.
wrong with you? Eh? I mean, what is really wrong with you? Why did you bring them home? Could you believe they said they've not eaten since morning? How to bring them home to feed them? You're out of your mind. You were really out of your mind. You went to their house in the morning. And later in the day, their mother fell sick. You didn't stop though. You went to their house to bring sick looking children to this house. What if anything happens God to them? God forbid nothing will happen to them. Stop with the negativity. God knows my mind is clean. Well, since God knows that your mind is clean, when anything happens and police get involved, please do well to explain to them that your own mind is clean. I mean, what is wrong with you, Anita? You committed an atrocity against us family instead of you to stay clear from them. You keep getting closer to them. Young woman, comport yourself now that I'm here before you drag my head to a knock. I don't like this. Silly. Honey, I'm sorry. I am sorry. <laughs> Please. I've been begging you for weeks now. But you don't want to talk to me. Please just say something. Say something to me then. Let <laughs> me stand. Please help me. You are talking rubbish. I said, you are saying rubbish. Is it because I've not changed out of my house? After I've been this shame on my face? Is that why you're still saying rubbish? Oh, honey, no. Oh, honey, no. I can't do such a thing. Hmm? I, I was under the influence of alcohol. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know. Anything. Please don't touch me. me. Please forgive me. You are still talking rubbish. I said, you are still talking rubbish. Stop giving me reasons for your foolishness. You are very cheap. You are as cheap as the lowest commodity in this village. I wish I knew you were just pretending to love me all this while. I love you. You don't love me. I love that is not love. You don't love me. I don't know what came over me. I don't know. But I know. The God of marriage had to count it for me as a saint. But you know, I can never do such a thing to you. I love you so much. I still love you. Don't touch me. Did you say love? Please. I'm sure you don't know the meaning of love. I will not sit here and listen to those cock and boo stories about you saying you love me. Because the woman that loved me will never act this way. Please. Go! <laughs> Come on, leave me. Agumba the Great. My wife still insists that she was raped. But I find it very difficult to believe her. Hmm. I have made an inquiry long before now. But I found out something scary. Agumba, feed my hungry mind, please. I want to know exactly what happened. Ah, she was not aware that someone slept with her. It all happened when she went to her brother's child education. I know about the child education she attended at her brother's village. I was meant to go with her, but due to my farm work, I couldn't go with her. On that night, she was drunk. One of her brother's friends took advantage of her. So she woke up to find out that something happened to her. Up to today, she can't tell who did that. In that case, why did then Anama count it to my wife as evil? Why? When Anama was brought into this land, women don't drink alcohol. So men don't rape. If you see any woman you like, just Marry her and have her for yourself. So they believe a man cannot have kind of knowledge of them without their consent. Hmm. Anama was like a police. 
that was made to arrest any married woman that was touched by any man. That tradition needs to be abolished. We don't need it anymore in this our generation. Have you ever seen a chief priest support abolition of an age-looking tradition? No, I haven't. For all I stand for, Anama should be abolished in this land. And I don't think I can do it alone, except by the king's order. Doctor, what is wrong with my wife? Um, based on the tests we ran so far, um, I can say that she's medically normal. But Doctor, how can you say that she's medically normal when you say that she's not? This, this is strange. Um, <clears throat> anyway, let, let's not conclude yet. Um, um, I just ran some tests on her. I believe when we see the result of those tests, uh, we'll conclude on the way forward. Um, okay, but I want you to make a deposit of 50,000 Naira at the reception. Doctor, I don't mind selling my fortune just to make sure she gets well. Ah. <sighs> I will do my best. I believe God will heal her. Have I made a mistake? I thought it is a good thing to find a wife. Why has my own been different? Was my mother right? Tell me your children, because I know you are not serious. Mama, I can't be joking with a thing like that. Wait. I've known her over the years and I think it's time I settle down with, with her. Wait, is it not the same girl you brought here last month? You're right, she's the one. You can never marry her. What do you mean? What is wrong with that girl? I don't know, but one thing I know is that I have found a responsible girl in this village. A responsible girl from a responsible home. Don't you know that it is the duty of a good mother like me to find a good wife? For her son to marry. Annabelle is responsible, Mama. I've known her for years. You are talking around rubbish. You know me. You know when I say no, nothing will ever make me change it to yes. You will not marry a girl that I don't know. I must make sure she is what be my daughter-in-law. Papa, please, talk to Mama. I do not understand what she's talking about. Please talk to her. No one will ever make me not to marry Annabelle. You don't know what you are saying. Not when I am alive. I will never allow you. Marry someone that will separate you from your family. Never! Nede. Agony. Nede Munyem. Calm down. Calm down. Patrick here. He is man enough to marry any woman he loves. Cello. Did you say man enough? Of course. Can you Kennedy? Let me ask you. Were you a baby? Were you not man enough when your mother came asking me to marry you and be her daughter-in-law? Were you? And another question is this. 
Since you married me, man, tell me, have you regretted it? Was that the reason you had to raise your voice? Because I had you to answer me. You know it has not been easy marrying you. Huh? You know that. Mama, you're talking about 30 years ago. We are in new era. This is new age. We've passed that age. Mama, we don't kneel. Huh? We've kneeled. You don't move. You're still talking about 30 years ago. You have kneeled. And I have kneeled too. You have not kneeled anything. You have not kneeled anything. Let me tell you, if you marry a strange woman, the promise that you will you will regret it. Patrick, don't mind your mother. Be careful in your marriage. An error in marriage will cost you all your life. Mama, what's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of what I'm no, doing? No, Kehene Mezio, what's the meaning of this? Food from your wife. How? She did not cook food, so she should not eat food. Honey? Mama? Mama, I don't Papa. like this at all. Mm. How can you be treating my wife like this? Wait, wait. Eh? If your wife is lazy to go out to there and work and make money like other women, she should also be lazy in eating any food cooked by me, oh, Mama. Biakwa? Hmm? In our own kitchen, kwa. Mama, don't do this. Huh? Don't, don't, don't. don't. Give, give me the apple. Mama, come, come, come. Give me the apple. For what? You won't want an apple. You're insulting me. Give me the apple. Tell your wife if she does not want to go out and walk like other women and make money. Let her not come close to any food cooked by me. Else, I will pour her acid. Chelugodi, you will pour my wife acid. Bad. You help me. For taking food from her own kitchen. Which, whose food? My food. Mama, you know what? Mm. Eh? I don't think we can stay with you again in this house. Yes, again? Yes, you have to go. I have to go? Yes. Because of this girl you called wife. You are sending me out of your house. Okuya? Oh, she's my wife and I still love her. So you have to go. I do not want you to kill her for me. Meaning you don't love me. So you prefer her to me. Mama, I love everyone equally. But you have to leave my house so there will be peace. Why can't you love my wife? Get home, Eggy. Wait, oh. Eh? Why, can't I... why this hatred, hatred on her? Are you imposing the love on me? Why this hatred it, on her? Why? Is it by force to love her? I will not love her. Tell her to lazy about and not come close to me. Mama, Give me the you apple. Know, but, 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 but. If you don't want to love her, then you have to go. Let her have peace in her own house. I should go. Yes. I should go. Yes. Can we have peace? Let me tell you. If I'm going, I'll go with my food. Tell her not to come close to my food. Tell her to stay away from anything that has to do with me. Else, the kind of acid that will pour on your wife. Hmm? Then you return all, all our fan and, and, and our AC that you, you received. Which is? Give me a half no, regular AC. Be a good man. Give me the AC. My mother. She hates my wife so much like a serpent. Is she the one doing this to me? Daddy! Oh! My angel! Daddy, good afternoon. Where have you been? This auntie came here when we were hungry. She took us to her house and gave us lots of food to our satisfaction. 
Not only that, that that she also took us to shopping mall and yes. she bought all this for us. Daddy, I was hungry, but now I am. <laughs> <laughs> and you say what to her? Thank, Thank you, you, Auntie. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, you go inside and freshen up. Okay, yeah. Daddy. Alright. Take, take, take. Most Stop cheese. on the door. Okay. Let, let me open it. Stop. This time, let me open. Easy, easy, easy. Good afternoon. What's the meaning of this? No, no. What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry for persistently coming close to you. But this time, I... I... Hey, hey, hey. Stop. Stay away from me. And stay away from my family. Please. I know I've made mistakes. I shouldn't have let my emotions take the better part of me. I'm sorry. So let me tell you something. You're not going to get any part of me. You're not going to see me. You can't even see my boxers. Talk more of the thing inside. So just go and stay away. I have told you times that number. I'm no longer interested in that. What I want is just to make up for my wrong. If you want to make up, just go and never to come back. Stay away from me, please. Because if anything happens to my children, I will hold you responsible. Do you get that? Thank you. Do have a nice day. He is raining salt on you again. He is a very difficult man. He was never difficult. The taste of pain still lingers in his mouth. A family man. Job hunting for about two years, two good years. I mean, the family must have been true a lot. That is why I want to help them now. Why can't he just forgive me? Why can't he forgive me? That is why I always tell you this. Stay away from him. I need to stay away from the family. To avoid putting more problems on your own self. Stay away from him. Okay, it's okay. You just have to put yourself together. It's okay. Okay, let's go home. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go. I just want his forgiveness. I know. That is what I want from him. But I've said mine. You have to stay away from him.
My love is okay. Please don't leave me. It's okay. I now know it's not your fault. It's okay, don't cry, okay? Don't cry. Everything will be alright. Stand up, come on, stand up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. You know, it was my intention. I'm sorry, please. <laughs> I'm sorry I did not believe you before. Even when you told me the truth. I'm very sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Don't cry again, okay? It's okay. I got you. I got you. I promise you, I will always be there for you. I know. Baby, I, I got you this gift just to show you how sorry I am. Thank you. All these are for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Wait. It just, it's just that the picture of my nakedness is all over the internet. Honey, that's true. Shame is killing me. No, you know what? We will bear the shame together, all right? I promise you, this will pass just like every other pain passes, all right? Listen, I'll make sure this doesn't happen again. I love you so much. And I love you too. I love you more. I love you so much. <laughs> Where is mommy? Mommy got sick earlier today and I took her to the hospital. Can we go and see her? Yes, but she will soon be fine. Okay? Daddy, hmm? what's actually wrong with her? Is it malaria? Yes, exactly. But I assure you people, eh? She'll be fine. I'm very sorry. Can't wait to see my mommy. You will see her soon. And what are you going to eat tonight? We ate fried rice and a lot of chicken today. Yeah! <laughs> oh, the chicken was so delicious. Very big. I grated and bite it. How oh, that is so Yes, it was so delicious. Papa. I think you have to stop this. I have told you before, my son is married. He is happily married. He has a male and female children. Listen, 
they are living happily in the city. Makes you think he will come back here and marry you. Wait, Mama told me that she wants me to be her daughter-in-law. Yeah, Shinyaka. To which of her sons? As far as I can remember, I have just one son with her. And that son is married. Happily married in the city with the family. Now, listen to me. I know you are a good girl. My prayer for you is that you will find a good husband. Enugo. Why are you crying? Yeah? You're crying and you're swelling up like of, of what happened to you? Is it not Papa? Papa told me that his son would never marry me. God forbid. <laughs> what did you do to him? Did you offend him? No, I did not. I even fetched a huge fire with thinking that Papa would appreciate it. But he did not. Instead, he was angry at me. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what his problem is. He has not taken his snuff since yesterday. You know this old man, when their snuff finishes like this, and they did not see any too, you know? They will start getting agitated unnecessarily. He even asked me to buy snuff for him. But I did not because I cannot use my money to buy snuff for him. Eh? Stop crying. Eh? Forget it. It's okay. Eh? Don't cry. Mama, if you see the way Papa was sounding, he's very serious. I'm not going to say Wait, I am the one talking to you. See, if you had given him snuff, he would change his tongue. Give me the... Mama, no. I can't waste my time like this. I'm going no, on. No, I'll come back. <laughs> Stop running! See, your bamba will fall off. Oh. Huh? It's one of the reasons I want my son to marry you. Stop now! It is here! It is here! Every foul spirit. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 1, that God has given his disciples the power to uproot and to cast out every demon in the name of Jesus. <laughs> out of her now! Yeah, <laughs> Lord of Jesus, out of her now! Out of her right now! Jesus, out of her right now! Doctor, I'm confused. What do I do? I'm, I'm completely losing my mind. Patrick, calm down. <coughs> Calm down. See, issues like this are followed with utmost concentration. It is now confirmed that your wife, Ernest, has no medical explanation. Oh, I'm finished. Doctor, what do I do? Eh? What do I do? See, um, I've been in this profession for 15 years now. And I've seen issues like this. Your wife's ailment is synonymous to some issues I have handled in the time past. Doctor, you're speaking to me much, I can't even comprehend them. Doctor, what I want to know now is what I will do. 
What am I going to do? That is what I want to know. Patrick, calm down. Calm down and listen to me very attentively. If you don't listen to me now, we might not find solution to this problem. Okay. I'm listening. Okay. Um, people with such issues are, are always from Odo. And the last I remember, you are from Odo, right? Yes. And what has that got to do with the problem I went with is having? Patrick, do you know that it is a tradition in your village that any married woman that have a carnal knowledge of another man will go mad? Um, do you know that? Yes, 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 I know about it. Not my wife. My wife that I know very well. Even at gone point, she will never ever try such a thing with her legs for another man. No, 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 it cannot happen. Patrick, Patrick, we are not talking about what you believe or what you do not believe. See, we are at a critical point now. Your wife's ailment has no medical explanation. At this point, I think we should find other means to find a solution to this problem. See, Patrick, I want you to go home. Go home and make inquiries about this. I think your wife must have slept with another man. Don't even go there. You don't even, don't even think about it because I can't even imagine it. I just know my wife. It's not possible now. She's not the woman that I know. I, 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 I don't have to do it. It's not possible. Where are these kids? Um, Chichi and Bright. Come, 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 let's go. Mm -hmm. Stay there. Okay. Daddy, today is school and I'm supposed to be at school today. I'm supposed to pass my assignments this morning. Same here, Daddy. My teacher warned us that if we don't pass our assignment, we'll be punished. Yes. <sighs> yes, I really do understand how you feel right now. But I've already told your teacher that your mother is not feeling fine. And right now, I'm going to the village. But there's no way I will leave both of you behind. So we will be going together. Before the week runs out, we'll be back. Okay. Okay, Will mommy come with us? No, no, she's not feeling fine. But I believe she's going to get better but by the time we'll be back. Oh, it's her. okay, it's okay. You will be back soon, okay? Let's go, let's go. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Let's go.
Oh, my children. You are welcome. How are you? We are fine. Fine, Grandpa. It's okay. Oh. Okay, go inside there. Eh? Okay. 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 Mm. Baba? Pati. How are you? I am fine. You don't look good. What is the problem? Where is your wife? Oh, there is a big problem. What wow, Something happened to your wife? Yes. Is she dead? Papa, it's not something we can discuss here. What is this nonsense? What are they doing in this house? Uh, mama, mama, what is it? Uh, mama, stop, stop it, mama, what is it? Uh, uh, no okay, sense. Mama, why are you doing this? Doing what? I've told you to tell these cockroaches not to come close to me. I am not their grandmother. Uh, 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 mama, stop, 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 stop. Stop what? Patrick, Patrick, don't hear me. Where's my grandmother? I have sense, I know what I'm doing. If I have their grandmother, I will tell them. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You are their grandmother. You are calling them cockroach. Mama Chicha. Let's go inside. Mama, please, I don't like this so. I don't just I don't like it. I said this. Hey, shut up, woman. Keep quiet, Mr. You should learn how to talk when important issues are being discussed. Patrick, did you name your wife run mad under your roof? That is what I saw. I'm still surprised. It's still like a dream to me up to now. Don't say dream. It's not dream. It is reality. I told you. She is a cheat. She has been cheating on you. And the God has proved it to me when I told you she is not a perfect woman for you. He do obviously she is not a perfect woman. Nede, Nede, please, Nede, let us not conclude yet. We must make necessary inquiries to understand what happened to her. Cheganjogi, you and who will make the necessary inquiries? More. Nah, please don't mind your father. And let me tell you, let it not bother you one bit because I have concluded, I've arranged a perfect woman that you will marry. Her name is Chinyaka. She will take care of you. She is good and she will make a perfect wife for you. Nede, 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 I called you three times. I'm born 25. You surprised me. Okay. You are a bad woman. No apologies for this. A woman like you is mad and you are happy. Oh, Nedi, you surprised me. Did you say a woman like me? She is not a woman like me, point of correction. Because I don't cheat on my husband. So, and if you like, call me anything you like. I don't care. Nakangwagi. I thank God Almighty that I never accepted her in the first place. Tell me. How can I be called mother-in-law to Onyala? Tell me, Odima. <laughs> um, he did not finish the chest. Is she now running mad at the marketplace as a naked? We pull out water. She naked. <laughs> Tell me, oh, it's good you tell me. Hey, help me, help me, help me, help me. Did you see? Patrick, 
you are a strong man. I want you to be strong. Now, listen to me. Even if this is the last thing I am going to do for you as a father, trust me, I will make sure nothing happens to your wife. How are you? I'm fine. Yaka. Yes. I heard you've been helping my mother. Yes. Thank you so much. It's nothing. <laughs> I would like to see you in the evening time if you're going to be chanced by then. I'll be free anytime you want to see me. Okay. In the evening then. Okay. Bye bye. It's okay. She's a good girl. I don't know what your mother fed out with. Papa, please stop talking about my mother. Eh? You, you were telling me something about her. Uh, 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 one day it's like that. Married women. They look wrong, Hannah. Marriage is not for everything. Look at this one that the naked in the, in, in the market square. Ha! What are you still covering? Can you can't put you. Ha! Hey! To fear what? She's not ashamed of herself. What is she still covering herself? She's not ashamed of herself. I'm not ashamed of herself. Woo! Hey, hey, hey! Come on! Come on, get out! Look at these evil children. My dear, a business, oh, a business. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, eh? Stop crying. Sorry, eh? Papa? Why are the children clapping and following her like this? What has she done? So, she ran mad after sleeping with another man. She was made to dance round the market square naked. Now she's left to face the humiliation for a very long time. Oh, this is going to hurt her. This is going to haunt her to the rest of her life. And even her children. This would be a shame on them to the rest of their life. Son, no man deserves a cheating wife. Papa, no woman deserves to be treated like this, no matter what. If my wife cheats on me, I will never allow her pass through this. Instead, I will send her packing back to her parents' house. Yes, I will never allow my, my, my wife to pass through this. It's not fair, Papa. It's not fair. This is inhumanity. It's not good. Son, if you do that, then your wife will live her life, her entire life, mad. God forbid, my wife will never go mad. Let's go. Ah. This is not fair. This is not fair. Oh. Eh? Send the person back in. Back to her parents. The law. Allowing this now. The law of this community.
Baby, what happened? What happened? <laughs> Did anyone hit you? <laughs> People were clapping and singing after me as I was on my way to the market. They were making jest of me. <laughs> and it's okay. But I thought we agreed that you should stay indoors. You shouldn't come outside. I personally told you to stay in the house. But I've been in Dove for a long time now. I can't keep hiding from people. I, I, I can't. I can't keep hiding from them. But I told you we're going to relocate from this village in a month's time to the city. Where nobody will know you or even recognize you. <laughs> Honey, stop crying, okay? <laughs> no. We'll bear the shame together. You'll be fine. This is too much. This is too much. I can't bear this. This is too much. Now. It's too much. <laughs> Move yourself at me. Move yourself at me. Come with me. Son. This is Anama Deity. It has lived with us for more than 500 years. Its grip has been on this land for many years. So, our women can never cheat on their husband because of this deity. But I've not heard that women protest against it. <laughs> Son, the women are made to live with it. They are raised to believe this law. When a woman is sleeping with an, a man, and the man gives him money, and she comes to spend the money on the husband and the kids, there is no problem. But there's a problem at the doorstep. Papa, what do you mean? Son, as the man starts sleeping with the woman, you, as the husband, will get sick. No medicine. I repeat, no medicine will cure you. But if you did not collect anything from the man and they make love to each other, son, the woman will run mad. The woman will be made to dance naked around the market square before she will be fine. God forbid. My wife will never dance naked around the market square. Then she will be mad the rest of her life. How then do I make her to confess if she did it or not? I will cut you a chewing stick, which you will chew before you talk to her. She will regain her consciousness and confess to her crimes to you. What is it? Why are you frowning? Talk 
to me. What is it? Daddy, is it true that our mother is mad? What? Who said that to you? Grandma, of course. And she also said she is not our grandma. And she can't give us food. Daddy, who is my grandma? Did you hear that? Did you just hear that? Mama is taking too much. Why should Mama do this? Eh? Why? She's really stepping on my toes. My son, I don't want you to lose focus on what is at hand. Papa, no, I really need to talk to Mama. Her actions are becoming too much. Mama? Pa pa Patrick, Patrick, come. Come, come, Patrick. Mama? Patrick, come. Me. Why have you sought to, to be hurting me like this? What yeah, rubbish like, are you what, talking about? What, what, what is going on? What is going on? Eh? You try to me fair. Do you want to beat me? Mama, 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 you try to me mama, fair. Stop this, stop this. We're not talking about beating you. We're talking about you going to tell my children that my, my, my wife is mad. Is it this guy? Oh, you know how much I hate lies. You know how much I hate lies. She is truly mad. You said that with this in your mouth. Oh, you know how much I what is this rubbish now? Mechano! Mechano! Hey. Mama? Papa? Do not make me regret ever having you as my mom. <laughs> oh, you got to! You ain't gonna make a man like ya! You ain't gonna make a man like ya! I will not you, Mama! I will not let you go! Don't make me regret having you as a child. Don't cry, 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 do God will touch you! 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 Why would I do such a thing? Eh? Make me a camera, I do lock, me a young gaga. Now listen to me. Your mother is a dangerous person. Don't allow her to go and report you to the youths. Because if she does that, the youths will come here and sanction you. And that is not what you need now. I want you to go in there and plead with her to forgive you. For what? No, no, no. Tell me. Why should I do that? She should be the one to ask for my forgiveness. I will never do that. Well, give me. Now listen to me. There you go wrong. Do you want your mother to succeed in our plans? Do you want our plans to fail? Is that what you want? Now go inside and plead with her. Jay, no, go and beg her. Go and beg her. Gaba now, Gaba. Hey. Hey. Don't allow her to live here because if she my, does, my book, which is a wizard, is she okay. will go and report you. Hey. 
Junior. Yes. Can you marry someone you don't love? Mm, yes. My mother taught us that if you marry someone you don't love, eh, as time goes on, you, you, you love the person. So you don't love me? I love you. You are a handsome man. I know that when we get married, our love will grow more. What if I don't love you? I'll make you love me. I know how to do it. You actually came prepared. You're well equipped. Your mother really taught you well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a man on your way and admire him? Yes, I have. But, you know, men, they go for all these big, 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 big women. Okay. That is it. Chinyaka. Kulo mm -hmm. Sit down. Chinyaka, what would you like to do in life? I mean, what kind of business would you like to do? Okay. I love cooking, you know? and I want to learn how to um, fry cake. Yeah. That's why I want to go to Budo Yubu, so that I will learn how to fry cake professionally. Ah. Mm. So I can... That's nice. So, why would you like to? Or oh, let me ask. Uh, would you like to go learn it professionally before you get married? Yes, yes. I, I, I will. I will like it so that I have something to do before I get married. And so that I can support my husband. No, it's not every time I ask him to give me money to buy Gary, give me money to buy beans, give me money to buy all those small, small, small things. I want to have something to do before I get married. Mm. Mm. Okay, I will make sure you go to school and learn all that. Ah, are you sure? to marry her first. But I would like to make the same mistake again. Annabelle had no job when I met her. And that has been our problem. Stop mentioning that girl's name anytime I am with you. If that is the case, I'll go and enroll her into that vocational school at Abakaliki. Huh. Um, well, thank you so much. That's so nice. Hi! One more. You have not proven to me that you suckled from this breast. <laughs> no. Mama, I will be going back to the city tomorrow. Huh? What will now happen to your children? Please don't leave them here. I will do as you said. Do not worry yourself. Um, Patrick. Uh -huh. You will be leaving tomorrow, right? Yes, Papa. So, I would like to talk with you soon. <sighs> Emeka. It's you. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. 
I am here because of your faith. Yameka, I think the issue of cheating has to be left in the hands of the family to decide on what to do. Not the entire community deciding. Each year, I have been thinking about this since when I was a little child. Okay. You're welcome to my house. Thank you. Each year, you are one of the strong members of the king's cabinet. What do we do? How do we put an end to this shame? Emeka. Each year. That is exactly why I am here. Okay. With you and a few others, we will put an end to this barbaric act. Okay. So what do we do? How do we go about it each year? Now listen to me. Emeka, I want you to get the youth to accept the fact that this barbaric practice must stop in this community. Let them be behind you. You are their spokesman. Ichie, to be honest with you, the youth of this great land are behind me. Good. In fact, they suggested severally that I go to the Igwe and talk to the Igwe about this. They want this to be put to stop. They are tired of it. But the truth is, the Igwe refused to listen to me. The Igwe went deaf ears over the issue. He's adamant about it. Now listen to me, Emeka. The only way to see reason as reason is to reason reasonably. That's true. We all must face this issue angrily. The other communities around us, we hear of suicide once in many years. But here, almost every day, we hear of suicide. We must put an end to it. Gather the youth. Let them be behind you. Each year, if I decide to go on with this, Will all the elders back me up if I involve the Human Rights Commission in this? Oh! All the elders will come behind you! Right? To any agency, we are behind you. Let the youth follow you. Hmm? Hmm? So what you're saying in a nutshell is if I involve the Human Rights Commission, the elders are fully behind me. We are already behind you. Okay. We are already behind you. Okay. Let the youth follow you. Okay. Uche, I'll do my best. <laughs> I don't want to hear that word. I will, I will do my best. So that you will not tell me that my best is not good enough. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Plan your zubo. I know what to do. Good. I know what to do. Your Majesty, the terms and conditions that surround that very tradition contradict what we are passing through right now. On behalf of the youths of this great kingdom, we plead that you abolish that very tradition. Your Majesty. I thought we have discussed this before, haven't we? Your Majesty, are you not remorse over the fact that a lot of people are dying? So many people are dying because of the same tradition. Our women in this kingdom, they no longer marry men from this kingdom. Even the women that will marry from other kingdoms are passing through the same cause. They are all dying, they are all suffering from this same tradition. Your Highness, our girls no longer see us fit to marry anymore. They rather prefer going to other communities to get married. How long are we going to continue like this, Your Majesty? Well, this is the standard we met, and it has held us on. Your Majesty, this same uh, tradition can be adjusted. 
Your Majesty. And only you have the authority to do that. Your Majesty, please. Do something about it. Uh, uh, well, go and tell the people that sent you that I insist on keeping the tradition same way I met it. Well, in that case, Your Majesty, with due respect, I would love to tell you that I have written to human rights lawyers, human activists, home and abroad, in regards to this. Your Highness, Your Majesty, I speak on behalf of the youth of this great land. Please, act into the voice of reason. Young man, your majesty, do you know I can relieve you of your post as the youth leader of this kingdom? Yes, I know you can do that, your majesty, but that will not stop me. Yes. Gone are those days when the youth keep quiet. But you see this generation youth, they speak out, your majesty. We don't keep quiet. We ride and die for issues that consign this great community, our own community, your majesty. Mm. Mm. So you look me in the face. You stand before me to order me on what to do. Now listen. Go and tell your sponsors that I am Iwo Oboto. One. Nobody, I repeat, nobody tells me what to do. I do it the way I want it. Your Majesty, I'm very sorry if I have spoken out of place. If I have spoken harshly towards you, please, tamper justice with mercy. But you see, I have the support of the youth. And I speak on behalf of every youth of this great kingdom. Please, please, hearken to the words of reason. Now, get out of my palace. Your Majesty. He said, get out of my palace. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But before you do, go and tell your sponsors that I remain the Igbo of our motto. And no one dares me and go scot free. May you live long, Your Majesty. Please listen to words of this. Please. Can you see this tradition is killing us? Can you see it doesn't suit this generation? Can you see our people dying on any base? Can you see, things are getting out of hand So should we ignore it? Or amend it? Or mail it upon you? Oh, Yoko So should we ignore it? Or amend it? Or tradition? Oh, Yoko Can you bang woman and now? What? Suck! Daddy, what is it? No, 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 no. Chiho, this Daddy, is I'm coming. I'll be right back. Eh? Go inside. I'll be right back. I am hungry. This hunger is getting too much. We hardly eat. Even when we travel, Grandma could not still give us food. I don't know what is happening. What do we do now? Because I'm very hungry. I don't know. It's okay, let's go inside.
Hello, my babies. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? We are fine. We are fine. Are you sure you are fine? Yes. Yes, you are fine. Auntie, we were coming to meet you. Oh. Yes. And we just came back from the village. Okay. Let's so go. we decided to come and meet you. Yes, Auntie. Okay. Then you're coming to my house, right? Yes, yes. yes okay, let's go to my house then. No problem. Thank okay. You, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to my house again. All right? Let's go inside. What? And Shanita. Yes, there. Until Chu is angry. Or is she also angry to see us? Why would you say that? Has anyone ever told you they're angry to see you? Yes. Our grandma, she hates us so much. She even told us to stop calling her grandma. Yes. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that, okay? okay? Nobody is going to hate you here. Trust me, okay? Okay. Now let's go in and eat anything you want to eat. And then from there, we'll go to the shopping mall. Okay, and buy you Auntie. anything you want. You are welcome. You are welcome. Let's go inside. Okay, let's go have fun. <laughs> Come to work today. My wife has been sick. Eh? Yes. Is Oga still around? Oga? Yes. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't know. Eh, uh, wait, wait. In fact, your village people is really at work. Oh. Hey! Your wife is sick. Get in with her all. Ha! Your village people is really working. Huh? How can a vibrant man like you got a job? On that one day, you didn't walk the walk and you lose it just like that. A big opportunity, a big chance like this that everybody is praying for. You saw now we lose where mm. your village people now saw tomorrow. Hey! Mm. But let me ask your village people. Eh? Where are they when you got that walk at the first time? Ebekahano! Mm -hmm. Um, no. uh, good day. Kaki me. Huh? You have been sat. Please leave my office. Hey, 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 hey. Listen now. My wife has been hospitalized ever since I got this job. I don't have any business with you. Have a nice day. I can't just have a nice day like that now. Not possible. Please help me. For crying out loud, your words are falling into the death place. Excuse me. Please help me beg your boss, please. Please now, please. Sir. Sir, you're welcome. 
Sir, sir, I'm so sorry. Please, I'm sorry. You know, my wife has been in the hospital since the day I got this job. You see, Mr. Patrick, I hate excuses. The truth is, you can't work in this company. Oh. Sir, so, you know I am very serious with my work. It's just because of what happened. So, how is she? Sir, so, she's not fine. She's not fine at all. She has been in the hospital since that day till now. Um, um, okay, um, sorry about that, Mr. Patrick, but... The truth still remains that um, you're sacked. Wow. Sometimes I ask why is life so unfair to me? And why is everything so hard for me? Why am I always crying? Why, why, why? Sometimes I wonder if I am unlucky. Sometimes I wonder if I am unfortunate. I watch everything get from bad to worse. Why me? All this got me asking questions every day. Okay, I'm not to the work you. You never know, best one will kill you, Abby. You know, the first person will kill you, not me, go kill you. I feel like you're go kill you. Idiot. Idiot. Yes, yes, has been my food every day. Yet I get no answer. Why? Why am I unfortunate? Why? Why are all this happening to me? Why? This has been my food every day. Sometimes I ask why is life so unfair to me? And why is everything so hard for me? Why am I always crying? Why, why, why? Sometimes I wonder if I am unlucky. Sometimes I wonder. Annabelle. What am I doing here? Anabel, how could you? How could you do this to me? Do what? What am After I doing? After all I sacrificed to keep our bed holy, you went and cheated on me. Why, Annabelle? How could you do this to me? Tell me why. I'm sorry. I actually know you're going to say that. But how do you undo it? to get you that job. I, I couldn't watch you suffer in penury. The hardship, the suffering in our family was too much. I had to do something. I didn't have any other option than to do it to get you that job. Please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Annabelle, you did it with who?
stupid brian we used to stay in the same streets many years ago Just say Don't yes. Come, baby. Say yes to me. And I'll spoil you with whatever you want. Name it. Money, gifts. Mm. Oh, come on. Money, gifts. So you think you can have every girl you want simply because your parents are rich, right? Come on, I don't mean it that way. You no. Know, as a matter of fact, you know I don't talk to ladies. You don't talk to ladies. <laughs> Clap for yourself. Because I know you slept with my flatmate, Queen. And I know you have slept with so many girls. Yeah, Annabelle, that's not true. Annabelle, I can swear. I have never ever seen a princess. You don't even know how to lie. What am I even standing here listening to your rubbish? Excuse me. Annabelle! Annabelle, Annabelle just say yes, please! Annabelle, just give me a chance, please, Annabelle! Please accept my gift. It's from the depth of my heart. Bren, you can only imagine having me in your bed. It can never come to reality. Even with a million dollars worth of gifts, you cannot convince me. Sorry. Annabelle, why are you treating me this way? Why are you being so difficult? It's just clear that you are taking me for what I'm not. Simple. Stay away from me. Why is that difficult for you? Listen, I will never sleep with you. Never. But I'm not saying I want to sleep with you. Oh. You don't want to sleep with me. He's a nice man. <laughs> okay. Assuming I accept your proposal now, I'll come to your house, right? Yes, but there's nothing wrong with that. When I come to your house, we'll do crusade, we'll do midnight prayers, praise and worship, read Bible, right? <laughs> I guess not. For the last time, Brian, you can never have me. Annabelle, come to just upset my gift. The expensive clothes, you know. Oh, but, but just take it, accept it. He couldn't get me after many attempts. Later I heard that his parents sent him abroad. We met again last month after so many years. You mean after many years? He still came back for you. It was a coincidence. That evening. Annabelle. <laughs> Ryan. Yeah. Is this you? You have changed. <laughs> well, change is constant. So where have you been? I should be the one asking you that question. 
You're the one that traveled and left us in this country. I've been around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, can we sit down and talk? Like, a harmless talk. Don't tell me you are still stubborn like you used to be. Brian. So you are still the same after all these years. <laughs> well, you can say that again. You see, the fact is, there is something about you that moves me. <laughs> but let's not go into all of that again. Well, you see, I am the one managing my father's company now. So, if you don't mind, I could offer you a job. Thanks. But no. I don't want your job. I don't want anything from you. Brian, you're a married man. And like you know, I am a married woman. If you can't respect me as a married woman, at least respect your marital vows. Well, Annabelle, you have kids. Well, I, I could understand that. As a then, you were keeping your virginity for your world to be husband. But now you're married, so what are you keeping it for? I will never cheat on my husband. Have a nice day. Can you imagine? Wicked so. Something that doesn't even have a meter that counts how many people that goes in and out of it. It's what you are still keeping. is fast fading away and getting old because of too much suffering. Humiliation comes from many angles. We can't really endure more of this. No. No, we can't. I'll do it on one condition. <laughs> Come on, just name it. Say it and it's done. You will offer my husband a job in your company. He has been to your company several times searching for a job. Trust me. That's not a big deal. Consider it done. In fact, I am going to make him a senior manager in my company. <laughs> I wish I am not doing this. Come on, baby. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it very calm. It's okay. Come on, don't worry, okay? I'm gonna be calm, okay? Maybe I'll be calm, okay? Trust me. I'm gonna take it easy on you.
That was what happened. Please, I'm sorry. Please. Do you know the gravity of what you've done? Do not touch me, please. Do you really know the gravity of what you've done? It is against our culture for a woman to cheat on the husband. And the result is instant madness by the gods. Wait, have I been mad? Yes. Very mad. Very? You've been mad. And you might remain mad for the rest of your life if you do not dance naked around the market. No! My love, you, you can't allow that to happen to me. You, you have to do something. You have to stop. You can't allow that to happen to me. I, I, I didn't... How, how could you even think of doing that to me? I did it for us. You are very wicked. I did it. I lost my job because I wanted to remain faithful to you. But you could not close your legs. I'm sorry. I said I did it for you. You for could us. not close your legs. I did you it for you. I, I did it. It was not intentional. It was not intentional. I didn't cheat it for the pleasure of it. I, I did it for us. Amen. I did it for us. Amen. I'm sorry, please. I did it for us. Please. You are a disgrace. I'm sorry, please. It's just a temptation. But we can make it hey. together. We can make it. Do not please. touch me. Please, I love you. Do not touch me. I did it for us. Please, my love. Please. <laughs> smelling bad. Something spiritual and strange is happening to this man. Eh? Either he is chasing something or something is chasing him. That is what I know now. Eh? My prayer now is that so that he will not run to death. He will. He will. Oga party. Oga party. Where is it? Where is it? Where is your boss? Hey, hey, Don't tell me here before I slap you. Show me to the office of that fool. Relax, calm down. Where is he? Where is your uh, uh, Where is your boss? Where is he? Where is he? He's here, he's here, he's here. And who is that stupid man? How could you do this to me? How could you do this to me? Where is your wife? Were you not married? Huh? She told you. Oh, she told me. Is that what you're saying? So you had the gut to sack me after sleeping with my wife just to give me the job. Come Am on. I lying? Calm down, Mr. Marshall. Calm down. <sighs> we can go into my office. We are not talking about anything. You're one of the most stupid people with that gut given opportunity. All the fine girls in this in this big company, you've slept with them. Two of us. Mr. Patrick, do you know you are humiliating me in front of my workers? You are an animal. You are a he goat. You don't give people job because they merit it. 
you give them job because of how sweet, how succulent they are on your bed. You slept with all of them, including you. Were you not a monk? Were you not a monk? Shut up! You're an animal. We can talk about this in my office. God will punish you. God will punish you because you've cost, you've cost a lot to my home, where I come from. If a woman sleeps with another man, she gets mad. Wait a minute. Where is she? Right now. So unfair to me, and why is everything so hard for me? Why am I always crying? Why, why, why? Sometimes I wonder if I am unlucky. Sometimes I wonder if I am unfortunate. I watch everything get from bad to <laughs> 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 Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Who is this again? Hello, son. Papa. Papa, she confessed doing it. She confessed cheating on you? I hope you did not beat her. No, Papa, I did not. But I've never been disappointed all my life like this. So, calm down. This is the journey of life. Easy. Because it can never be smooth. Papa Doa did not like what happened, but I wouldn't want her to dance naked around the market place. It's alright. I will try my best. But if my best is not good enough, you have to bring her back. Eh? It won't kill her. Okay? Why can't be a shame? Now, Patrick, listen to me. Shame doesn't end life. No matter what happens, life goes on. <sighs> Have you got to go? No, tell me, because I heard everything. You see what I am saying? You pushed our son into this and overheard you telling him that you do everything within your powers. Now tell me, what are you going to do? I hope you know what you're talking about. Woman, I don't have any business with you. Huh? Wow. 
Sometimes I ask why is life so unfair to me? And why is everything so hard for me? Why am I always crying? Why, why, why? Sometimes I wonder if I am unlucky. Sometimes I wonder if I am unfortunate. I watch everything get from bad to worse. Why me? All this got me asking questions every day. I say, why? Why am I unfortunate? Say, why? With all these things happening to me, why? Tears has been my food every day. Yet I get no answer, why? Why am I unfortunate? Why? Why are all this happening to me? Why? This has been my food every day. Oh. oh. Daddy, good day. Daddy, good day, afternoon. How are you? Fine. Fine, Daddy. Okay, come on, go inside. Okay? Okay. Please hold your greatness to yourself. What do you want? You've succeeded on destroying my family. What else do you want from this family? I did not destroy your family. Humans have turned to error. I know I have wronged you and your family. And I have made your countless times for you to forgive me. But you refuse to forgive me. You're here to return. The job you took from me. Why did you do what you did to me? Even when you knew that I did not deserve it. Ego. You should have returned to take the job. Even when I offered you a bigger salary and other allowances. But you still rejected it. I knew your family missed this job. You should have thought about that before thinking about your stand as a man. So you're here to blame me, right? I hate to see your kids go hungry. I don't know all the problems you are having at home, but you should share in the blame. I know you don't want me around, fine, I get it. But you should consider that your kids are hungry. You are failing to feed your kids. You should consider that first before considering the gravity of the insults you get from the place of work. Good thing. Sometimes I ask why is life so unfair to me? And why is everything so hard for me? Why am I always crying? Why, why, why? Sometimes I wonder if I am unlucky. Sometimes I wonder if I am unfortunate. I watch everything get from bad to worse. Why me? All this got me asking questions every day. I say, Nan. You have to follow me to Chinyaka's house. To do what? At least to pay her bride price. It's very important. Please, lady, please. Count me out of whatever thing you are doing with that girl. I am not in support. You see? Bam, bam, bam. I don't want me in support. Please, just go inside and get my food. I am hungry. No, come and carry me inside. Come and carry me inside to bring food for you to eat. So I should go and bring my food and give you. And you eat, right? But when it's time for you to show concern in matters that, that has to do with me, you, 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 you'll be talking rubbish. Yes! That's what you say always. I am not going anywhere. Since you're not interested in what I care about, please, lose interest in my food, because I will not give you. You open your mouth and say I am talking rubbish. You see? 
You are the only woman I married all my life. And just look at this. You are giving me sleepless nights. You are giving me sleepless nights. Now you are talking me into marrying another wife for my son. I will not do that. Nay, mommy. If I do that, I become a bad father. In a good father. In a good father, tell me. Chedikan Jogi, let me ask you. Did you say I am giving you sleepless nights? Of course you are giving oh, me sleepless Oh my night. goodness. Now I know. You always want to announce to the whole world the things that I do that you don't like. Do you also tell them those ones I do that you appreciate and you like? Like what? I cook food for you. I will give you and you will eat. I will arrange the other one and you will enjoy it and open your teeth like a roasted he goat. I am not Jesse. Chaloka and Kucha, allow me to finish. For saying all this rubbish this night, prepare yourself to cook your meal anytime you want to eat. No problem. I will not cook for you. It's no problem. So even the other side, I said I will not be giving you. You said no problem. I don't need it anymore. You don't need it. I call both of you here because I want us to discuss one important issue that has been troubling me and this community. I want to thank you for coming. No, no problem. Thank you very much. Eh? But let us hear what you uh, okay, are on for mm. John John. Hmm? Uh, until we hear what you have to say, then we know, know what, what you to say. Yes, uh, days are old now. Few days ago, I was thinking, when we, you, Uzoka, Ikechi, and myself, when we were growing, this part of the world was so underdeveloped, with lots of struggles. But now look at us. We are not growing. Ikechi, Osaka, mm. we are not grandfathers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. That is the thing. We have grown. The laws we make mm. while growing up mm. has to be changed. Uh, why, why, why do you say that? Now, the deities mm. like Dome, mm -hmm. Ogoro, mm -hmm. Ekpata, mm. those days, if we wanted to appear before them, we will all appear stark naked. Now, let me ask you, can any of you do that now? Social media! Instagram! You can't do it. That is why we lost interest in these deities. But there's something we have failed to tackle. And what could that be? Good. Good question. Our women running mad after sleeping with another man. Our men dying mysteriously after eating from the man that slept with our wives. Have you considered that? My brothers, this loss was helping us before, but presently it is not helping us. We need to fight it now, to change it. Thank you very much for bringing up this matter. I've been thinking of it for quite some time now. Yeah? Hi. Hey. You see, some of these are men are so treacherous, so evil in their intent. You see? You see? Some of them, after sleeping with your wife, they will come to you with a bottle of drink. Hey. 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 
Unknowing to you. If that drink passes your throat, it's a Eh, hey, nah. Hey, nah. You are gone. And when you are gone, what happens? Full time. Oh. Because you know <laughs> Full time. They will carry the whole in thing. Yeah? That's the thing Even our uh, women. No. After they are made to go around the market naked. Yeah? Do they live with the shame of seeing their, their nakedness on social media. They live with it. How do you live with it? Even their own children, their children can't even live with it for the rest of their lives. What do we do? Should we continue to live with this type of loss? No. We have to do something about it. It has to be abolished. Bam! Bam! I get up here. It is Bam! Just... My daughter-in-law, after she was taken around the marketplace, naked, she couldn't stand the shame. She then committed suicide. Ah. Mm -hmm. And that makes it the fourth girl that is committing suicide now. Nobody. After going around the village, naked. Hey. These ties must stop. It must stop. We need to meet the king and tell him that this law has to be changed. Bam. I have said it all. Eh? That is. Of Unusum. Hmm? Unusum Nanka. That's it. Just said it. Eh? Thank you so much. Keep the song. We cannot continue to. It is not possible. I said it is not possible. Okay. My king, as the prime minister of this land, I will always stand for the legacies passed to us from our forefathers. Anyone who fought us, we face the wrath of the gods. Oh no. Let me ask you. Mm -hmm. What do we do about these numerous deaths and madness in our community? What do we do about it? Let them die. Yeah. If they cannot obey the law of the land, let them die. Oh no. Eight of Raffon and Let them. See you. More than open it. Look at you. More than a corner. Eh? Oh my God, poor anybody come to talk to you. Maybe I'm talking to you. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh my foot. When you don't know what you're doing, eh? Oh no, your best duty is the people. Of course. Eh? Oh no, man. Yes! Yeah. Your best duty is to seek a way to solve the problems of the people you serve as Ono. Bam! And if you cannot do it, then resign and let me take over. Yes! Ikeji. Huh? The culture of our land uh -huh. and the, the tradition of our land first uh -huh. before the people. And who is the people? Who is the culture, man? Can you imagine? The, the culture and tradition you are protecting is useless without the people. Oh, yes. Enough of this argument. It is obvious that our people are no longer comfortable with this particular tradition. Of course. The tradition that was established to create the curry in our kingdom. So, the clamor for its abolishment is a clear indication that our men are no longer interested in protecting this very law that was established to bring in decorum in our marital life. It's, it is an aberration. And I say no to it. And I say no to um, it. This law we are talking about, this custom we are talking about, remember it has created a lot of criticism Mom. within and outside our kingdom. Tell them! Igwe, if our men, they can go outside, potori, potori, potori with other women, okay. nothing happens to them. 
and the women do same and something happen to them, then the law is partial. Very partial! It is yet. What has come over you? Why do you speak for women like that? Our men are entitled to many women as much as they like. And women are not so. <laughs> yeah. That means the tradition is partial. Partial! <laughs> sure. no. Look, I don't wake up from your bed. Why so don't you shout about our that? tradition in that disregard manner. Let me tell you. You don't shut me up like that because I don't wake up. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Enough of all this before I send you people out of my palace. What's all this? Uh, Igwe, continue. Igwe, thank you so much. Some stupid men among us. Number one. They have girlfriends outside. Yes. Women friends, girlfriends, small, small girls. They take their money and begin to give these girls. Then what do you expect the women to do? They go crazy. Uh -huh. They also go the same. Uh -huh. And before you know, the law will hold them. Igwe, my, in my own opinion, let us enact another law that we hold the men just the way this law is holding the women. Exactly. Eh? What is good for the goose is also good for the gander. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Now you are talking. Hey, pussy, go! <laughs> it, is it. it is obvious to me now that you are blabbing. Eh? You are talking rubbish. Oh, no, who are you talking rubbish? You are saying rubbish. You are rubbish. You are talking rubbish. Oh, no, you are talking rubbish. When I call rubbish. Oh, no, you have to. 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 Can you see this tradition is killing us? Can you see it doesn't suit this generation? Can you see our people dying on any base? Can you see things are getting out of hand? So should we ignore it? Oh, I mean it. Oh, The tears of the people melt my heart. But I stand for the culture of our people. The constitution of countries around the world, after many years, have been amended. But this law has been with us for more than 500 years. We need to change it. But people will say we want to support our wives, they cheat on us. Our men cheat on their wives. But the law has a way of condemning our men to death without them even knowing it. So what do you suggest we do now? Let us abolish the law. Abolishing the law means taking Anama away from this land. It will cost us arms and legs. It has cost us a lot already. You sound ready for this. Of course. I wish it will be possible. It will. It will. Baby, you have been avoiding me these days. I have missed you on Come on, Daddy. Come on. Elvis, how is your beautiful wife and your lovely kids? Oh, baby. Come off it. I asked you a question. Okay. They are fine. But, honey, these are like you. I missed you so much. I came in prepared, you know. 
Let's go in and slow it out, hot hot. You know what I mean? Hey, 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 hey. Go home to your family. Go home to your wife. She needs it more than I do, okay? What do you mean? You found another man? Oh, yes, I have. I found another man. And he does better than I do? He refused to do it. He valued his family so much he could not do it. I don't understand. It is over. Go home to your wife and kids. But, honey, why? Don't come to my house again. Baby! Baby! Oh, holy fuck. So, how are you? You, I'm fine. Thank you very much. And you, how are you coping? Very well. I had to divorce my sister. I am not happy about that. Would you? I never divorced a sister. She divorced me. What? Yes. She sent me out of the house. Are you serious? I'm serious. You see, I, I, I don't know how to put this right, but... I, I did everything I could to make that marriage work. But all I did was to no avail. So I had to move on. I knew you weren't around. Would have called you. So now that you are around you in Nigeria, I have to call you down here so I can discuss everything with you from A to Z. I, I, but I told you would love each other so dearly. Would you, with all my heart, I love Anita, your sister. But Anita made that marriage a living hell for me. She made me regret every moment, every minute I spent with her in my marriage. I used to see your sister like a very intelligent girl. Seriously, I used to see her like a, to be a very intelligent girl. Of course she is. I mean, for a little girl like Anita to grow a company of her own and have above 50 strength her staff. It's obvious she's not just brilliant, but intelligent. Oh, well, well, uh, uh, for what you said, uh, that uh, for Anita to have 50 strength as her staff, uh, or rather, 50 strength as staff, yeah. that makes her not just intelligent but brilliant. But that brilliant scattered our home, destroyed our home. I don't understand. Would you, you won't believe that I and Anita were quarreled over nothing, we quarreled over everything. Query who will handle it has chores. She will start quoting laws from the books she has read. <sighs> Damn. She won't believe that I and Anita will quarrel over who to wash the plates. <laughs> and that makes me see the house so boring. <laughs> Sorry, I laughed out. Oh, it's funny, right? Yeah, it's so funny. Let me tell you, even as an elder sister, I do virtually everything for Anita. Let me pass your hobby. Do you know Anita want me to make her meal and even serve her as a boss that she is? So can you imagine me doing all that for her? That would make me see her as my boss and not my wife. <sighs> but that's unfair. She's becoming too, she's too bossy. Anyway, I was living well in my bungalow until she asked me to come and join her in a mansion. And that was the biggest mistake that I ever made. It's not a mistake. Excuse me? Moving into a mansion is never a mistake. Yes. Because, um, and it's not even a bad idea that your wife is doing well and living in a bigger place. And she decided that her husband moves in with, with her, you know. Would you? For someone like your sister, Anita, me moving in with her, leaving my bungalow, and moving in with her in a mansion was a big mistake. That was the big mistake. For a good five months, or more than, more than five months now, you denied me my right as a husband. We don't even make love. No, is it how, is it how we stay as a husband and wife? Is it, is, it, is it how we make babies? Do you think being your wife means opening my legs every night for marathon lovemaking? Hmm? Anita, that is the 
will help me. You are my wife. I can be feeling lonely in my own house with my wife. Oh, I get it now. You are looking for a sex machine. Someone you will take and dissect. I'll be every night. Mm. Dissect me. That will not work. For your information, I am a working class lady. You should know I'm very busy. So get it into your head. I can't listen to yourself. Mm -hmm. So busy that you can't even make my meal. So busy that you can't even wash, wash my clothes. So busy to take off the half shawls. So busy and try to make love to your own husband, Anita. The most annoying part. When you come back from work, you don't allow me to, to rest in my own house. You start sending me message as if I'm an errant boy. Hey, wait, hold it there. Point of correction. This is not your house. This is my house. My house built with my own hard earned money. So if you don't like it, baby, hmm? deal with it. Nonsense. That is the most hurtful thing I ever had in my life. You from that day onwards, I knew I had made a very big mistake in that marriage. But she told me you cheated on her. Oh, whatever. The worst was that she cut you red-handed with a lady in your matrimonial home. Yes, I brought a lady to the house, but... The... What was? You don't have to lie to me, you know. I know my own sister, Anita, might be sometimes annoying but she will never ever lie to me to tell me all right would you let me buttress do you know that for more than five months your sister anita refused me my rights i can't even touch her now what do you expect me to do five good months yes five it's way too much. Don't you both sleep on the same bed? She told me that she tried to raise one branch of her company in Enugu and uh, for that she goes to Enugu every day and comes back late. And whenever she comes back, she's so weak. I can't even go, 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 go close to her. Before I knew, very early in the morning, she's up again. So I couldn't cope with that. I, I called her. I said, Anita, my wife, let's discuss this issue. I don't like this. You coming home late and you leave very early. I need my wife. You know, she, she told me, he said that I am being jealous of her sources. No, you, can you imagine me, her husband, jealous of, of my wife's sources? Fine, I'm jealous. <sighs> I, I don't understand. I know my sister loves making money, but I do not understand where this jealousy is coming from. That was exactly why I had to do what I did to make her choose between marriage and money. I, I don't understand you. Hold on. I, I, do you mean to tell me that you deliberately brought in a lady into your home for her to see? Yeah. Welcome to my humble home. This is where I live. Baby, your house is so beautiful. You like it? Of course. Oh, that beautiful. I see you now. Mm -hmm. Lovely estate, Miss Mm-hmm. So, you mean you live in this big house all alone? Is uh, it not lonely for you? Actually, I live here with my wife. Sorry? Yes, I live in this beautiful mansion with my wife. Do you mean you've been married all along? Yes, I'm married. But I'm about to leave the marriage. I'm married, but I'm about to leave the marriage. Can you hear yourself? What nonsense are you saying? So, you're one of those men that go around deceiving young girls all in the name of marriage. What we talked about. You told me that you love me and we're going to get married. So what are you saying? Even if you wanted to marry me, you wanted to marry me as a second wife without my consent? Is that what it is? Baby, baby, please listen to me. Come on, come on. 
Hear me out first, please. Leave me alone. Hear me out first, please. Hear me out. Look at me. Baby, come on. Stop fighting. Look at me. Baby. I'm not stupid. I love you with all my heart. If I don't love you, I won't bring you here. I want us to have a deep conversation. I need your audience. There is something I need to tell you. I'm all ears. Somewhere and you need to, to, to decorate your house? Edwin, I caught you cheating on me in my house. And you claim it's your right. Are you mad? Have you got nuts? Is this what you do? I walk my butt ass every day, making money. And you bring in different women into this house. What has come over you? Oh, that's it. Walk, 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 walk. That's all you know how to do. You don't have time for me. Look, Anita, if you have told me the first thing that you don't have time for this marriage, that you don't have time for me, I don't think I'll be part of this. Edwin, you are very heartless. Mm -hmm, no. After everything I did for you. You did nothing for me, Anita. You did nothing for me. Look, you, I might not be as rich and wealthy as you are, but I am not poor, Anita. I am not poor. No. Look, see. Let me tell you this, Anita. Don't look at me as if I'm a gold digger. No, I'm not. If this marriage will work or not, it's in your hands, not in my hands. What useless marriage? What useless marriage? You expect me to still call you my husband after this nonsense? This marriage is over right now. I am going in there and I'm bringing your bags out. I am done with you. Nonsense. Anita, come back here. Come back here. You are walking out of me, Anita. Anita, you are, you are walking out of me, Anita. Come back here. Anita! Anita! Go back here, Anita! I, I thought it wise to save you the stress of you throwing my things out, so I did it myself. You can enjoy your mansion. Let me go back to my comfortable, small home. At least, I'm comfortable there. Okay? Uh, uh, whenever you feel, feel like saying your divorce letter or paper, I will clearly sign it. Thank you very much. Edwin. Edwin. I thought we have something. You are heartless. Thank you. Edwin, you are me. 
Thank you. Go punish Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I deliberately did all that just to gain freedom. I never mean to leave her. I just went to humble Anita. And the next day, you know what she did the next day? She sent me a divorce paper. What is she doing to sign it? Do you know what that means? That means I should go back and beg her. And by the time she will not only say that she, she has forgiven me, then I will go back to her, to her cruel rules and regulations. Uh, would you know, no, 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 I've spied a lot. I've spied a lot. All my life, I have survived from childhood, and losing my parents from childhood was not friendly. At least by now, I can put one spoil me on my table. As an adult, I can't go back and suffer. But do you still love her? Of course, Uju. I do love her with all my heart. It was the love I felt for her that made me, that made me do all those things I did. Listen, Uju, no man can ever show your sister Anita love the way I showed her. No man. You know, I was abroad when all this happened. So can you let me fix it now that I'm around? Mm -hmm. Would you, you know, love is better protected than to fix. It is impossible to fix love when it is broken. And if you ask me, I don't think your sister Anita want this love to be fixed. Seriously. You don't want Annabelle to dance around the market naked. Okay? Lady, what will you benefit to see a woman like you being humiliated like that? <laughs> a lot. I must make sure she pays for all the things she made my son go through. Oh yeah, who we are. Why is your heart so dark? Huh? Why is there no forgiveness in your heart? I, I, I am I, I keep wondering why I ended up with you. Why are you punishing me? Wait, I want to ask you something. Are you directly or indirectly telling me you're regretting marrying me or you're telling me I am a wicked woman because I don't get it? Let me ask you, where were you when your mother came convincing my parents to push me to you? No, no, no. no. Where were you when your mother arranged area boys to beat up Okori? Oh. I made him run away and not to marry me. Where were you? You're calling me wicked. Today is the beginning of your problem. Today is the beginning of your problem. I've not started punishing you. <laughs> I am starting. I am beginning. Nani Anono? Nadi. Nwoke? Nadi. Nadi. I have lived close to 40 years with you. Gini me. What happened? Yet you have not changed. You need to change. Oh. You need to change. Uh, you want lady. me to change? I am changing. That is the reason I said today is the beginning of your problem. I have changed. Same to you. Same to you. Same to you. Same to you. Troublemaker. Need. You are a troublemaker. Wow. Oh. Hey. Sometimes I ask why is life so unfair to me And why is everything so hard for me Why am I always crying Why, why, why Sometimes I wonder if I am unlucky Sometimes I wonder if I am unfortunate I watch everything get from bad to worse Is anybody why here? Me? What are you doing in my house? 
What are you doing here? I brought you this. This is five million naira. I just want to say sorry for all I have done. And you think five million naira can fix the damages you've done to my home? Patrick, I know this cannot pay for the damages, but I just thought it wise to bring this to you. Just accept it. It will help you pay your bills. If you really care about my family, you wouldn't have done this to me. Well, Patrick, at least, even if you reject me, don't reject this. Okay? This will go a long way to help your family. Just take it. Leave here now before I kill you. Take your evil money back to the set and I don't need it. Patrick, leave here now it. before I kill you. I said leave here. You don't want to leave, right? Oh, come on, Patrick. You don't want to leave, right? Just, okay, Patrick, wait for me. Just, just take this. Patrick, I, Patrick, I am just trying to say sorry for all I've done, Patrick. What are you doing with Patrick's file? I want to get his account details. What for? I want to send him some money. Since he stopped his kids from coming here, I feel sending him money will do him some good. You still love that young man, don't you? I do, but... No but! No but! I need to stop loving him! Stop loving someone else's husband! Do you want him to send his wife away and marry you? No. I used to lust after him. But now I just love him for being a responsible man. <laughs> Is that not funny? Anita, you seem to have forgotten why you left your husband. I mean, is it not funny that you divorced your own husband because he cheated on you? Only for you to come and be lusting and sleeping with other people's husbands. Is it not your village people playing tricks on you? Let me tell you, you have to go back to your husband. I need to go back to your husband's house. If he cheats on you, beg the Lord to change him. I'm off for a meeting. Drop it. Sometimes I ask why is life so unfair to me And why is everything so hard for me Why am I always crying Why, why, why What? Sometimes I wonder if I am unlucky 500,000 naira from Anita Hey Hey that girl still wants me. But I am just trying to be faithful to my wife. But I don't think I can hold it back anymore. I will go and give her what she wants. Mm. I will go and give her. I can't hold it back anymore. Imagine a hot
Hi. Hi. I hope I'm welcomed. Sure. And I hope you've not come to crucify me like you always do. No, I just came to say that I'm sorry for being so stupid. You were not stupid. I understand everything now. Can we go inside? Sure. Make yourself comfortable. What can I offer you? You. <laughs> what? I want us. I want you very close to me. I want to have you. I want us together. I, what has come over you? Stop. You see, I've come to realize that I've missed you so much and how much I love you. That's a lie. You want to pay your wife back. Who told you? I have wide ears. I made a mistake lost in after you. But don't use me to pay your wife back for what she did. She cheated on me for Christ's sake. I, I, I rejected a job because I, I just want to be faithful to my wife. And she was busy cheating on me. Was that right? What she did, she did out of love. Please find a place in your heart to forgive her. I have come to realize that the mistakes we make, trying to express our anger, over a particular issue sometimes causes more damage than the error itself. Let me ask you a question. Do you have a condom there with you? Oh no, 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 no. You see, you could get me pregnant or if possible, contract STD. And that will be worse than what your wife did. I divorced my husband because he cheated on me. Since I left my husband, I have slept with more than 15 married men. That is worse than what my husband did. I regret my actions. What your wife did, she did out of love. Please, go back to your wife. Don't let it die. Your Majesty, in the last one year, 10 married ladies have committed suicide after dancing round the village market. Naked. Most of those men that died in this community today have been taken by Alama for breaking marital laws. How long should we continue like this? You want me to cure a madness that has lasted longer than my age? But it was not in existence at the time. That means it was created by someone. And the person that created it was killed to activate its potency. Which means it can be deactivated by someone. Uh, well, deactivating means supporting our women to cheat on their husbands. And that has always been what I stand against. Oh yes, we are known as people with decency. Well, it's always a lesson to see people die for a cause they believe in. It will make others learn to live accordingly. And that 
has been my stand. Sandra! Sandra, please, please, hear me out, please. Please. Edwin, why are you following me? I have told you, stop following me about! What is the meaning of this harassment? Sandra, please stop treating me like a tout. I'm a reasonable man searching for love. Please, try and understand. I am not treating you like a tout. You brought me to your house the other day to embarrass me. Sorry. Look at me running like a common thief because of you. Edwin, uh, you are very selfish. You are a wicked man. You want to destroy my life. No. You want to scatter all my dreams and aspirations. You will never succeed. Uh, you can never succeed. Sandra, heaven bear me witness. I have no evil intention towards you. I'm here to love you for real. But you're married. Edwin, you're married. Yes, I'm married, but I'm, I'm, I'm more lonely than, than a single guy. She does not even have my time. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Just see for yourself. Look. Divorce? Yes. Divorce. I am working very hard to leave that marriage. I'm doing everything I can just to leave the marriage. Sandra, I'm a lonely man. I'm seeking for someone that can feel this empty heart inside of me. Sandra, please, give me your heart. I promise to cherish and love you forever, please. I don't believe you. Anita, are you still friends with Elvis? No. TJ? No. I can. No. But where are these questions coming from? Anita, how long do you intend to stay like this? Without getting another man for yourself? Or are you going to die single? Please, I don't need stress. You know what I went through the last time? Really? Let me tell you something, Anita. Sometimes, what you have in life does not matter. What matters at this point is how to make your own self happy. Then you realize that happiness is precious than money. Do not forget this. Men are evil and cannot be trusted. You know that. Some, not all, you know. Sometimes, it is your attitude that will reshape them from who they are to the monster you do not want them to be. How do you mean? Good. Now, next time, if you get another man, try as much as possible to keep your intelligence away from your family issue. Intelligence is only needed at work, not at home. You are a woman, and for your marriage to work out, you need wisdom. Apply wisdom always. Hmm. I think you have met with Edwin. He was the only one that used those words on me. <laughs> nice. Let me tell you, Anita. Let me tell you something you need to know. Family is about two intelligent people coming together to play foolishness. That means if you see foolish things, you really need to play along in order for it to work. But if you want to be the most intelligent one at all time, trust me, you can be with anybody. 
not even God himself. Eh, 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 oh no. How could you be in support of the abolishment of the marital laws that has held this land for a very long time now? Ned, I am not. And I can never support any move to abolish such law. It is your selfish husband, Ijezie, and some of the chiefs that are kicking against it. I don't know their reason. Hey! Odogu Binigwe! Thank God you know Ijezie, my husband. He's a selfish man. Oh, yeah, Bale. Let me now tell you the reason he is doing that. Our son's wife, Annabelle, Patrick, my son, his wife, went and cheated on my son. And they don't want her to pay for the sins she has committed. You know me now. Is well, why? Why am I robbing why? Hey, a good woman. Eh? I want her to pay for all the sins she has committed by cheating on my son, Patrick. Ned, <sighs> did you just say that your daughter-in-law cheated on your son? Have you not heard? She went and ate a bong. A bong. Outside. What did you call it? <laughs> nah, you heard me. A bong. <laughs> <laughs> so but this is why it is here. Is he using all these chiefs to cause problems in the palace? Hi. Ned, I take this as information. I am going directly to the king to convey this information. But let me tell you. As long as I remain you know who of this land. The prime minister of this land. Nobody. Nobody will change the tradition of you and law of this land. Oh yeah, Bale. Oh yeah, Kwe Memo Bale ya. Oh, Toto Woko. Afu di Bafo Glo Gimia. Woko Toro Glo Bafo Nu Mama. Oh yeah, Bale. Oh yeah, Adelina Ma. Stand. Let me tell you. I am counting on you, Gidiba. And the people of Oboto. We are counting on you. Do not let us down. Don't worry. Hey! I know what to do. Oh, yeah, I didn't know what to do. Man, no, no. It is well with you. Hey! A girl, my son, married. It's a bonge. And it just is in support. Odemma. Is it good? Hey! It just is. You must suffer. You must suffer. Yeah. Now I know why it is here. When the marriage law that lasted so many years abolished. In fact, this law was bequeathed to us by our ancestors. And it is here wants to destroy it. Well, it is because his son's wife is under the grip of her man. The wars have years. Thank God you know. I was about telling you that. Even you can see why the likes of EJZ want the law abolished. Igwe, let me tell you. We should not allow EJZ to bend us against our tradition. We can. What about deaths ravaging our people? Huh? It will let them die now. Mm -hmm. I lost my two sons to Anama. Mm -hmm. My daughter has run round the market naked. The sky never touched the ground. Mm -hmm. So others should not look for a shortcut. Your Majesty, your subjects want Anama out of this kingdom. I wonder why you still insist 
that this deity remain with us. It is here. If the sword loses its test, it becomes testless and by extension useless. We are seen all over the nation as people with the most decent women. Your Majesty, I don't agree with you on this, Majesty. Because we paint a bad picture of ourselves to the outside world. We make our women look decent and they blame us for making our men we want. Mm. It is here. I know you are the one sponsoring that little boy, Emeka. Let me warn you. You are making yourself enemy to this palace. Your Majesty, I love this throne so much. But the truth remains that without the people, there won't be this throne. Mm. I think you need to think of protecting your subjects. Mm. That is my thing. You can only try. But I will not and will never change the tradition of our people for you. Take it from me. Chiaka, why are you frowning? Mama, you were told to bring 20,000 Naira for our practical. I told my parents, but they don't have that kind of money. Is that why you're keeping a, a Hugo's face? Ha. I've always told you to come to me anytime you need money. Eh? Don't worry. Eh? I have some money in this house. Hey! There is money in this house. You should not be frowning because of little, little money like this, eh? Are you counting with me? <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> you are even faster than myself. Mbwano, <laughs> let's go. This is 20,000 naira. Am I saying? See this one. It's for your um, Mama, thank you so uh -huh. much. Thank you. Thank you. Mama, you have really tried for me. I don't know what would have done without you. It's okay. You know, when I like something and I want to go for that thing, I will do everything within my power to accomplish that. <laughs> I told you, I must make sure you come here to stay as my son's wife. My son must marry you. <laughs> Mama, you're really making my dreams come true. Thank you. Stop thanking me. Eh? Stop thanking me. <laughs> Let me tell you. When you go back to school, do not allow these small, small boys in school to be touching this your bumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Always tell them that you're married. In fact, tell them that you did blood engagement with your husband. Uh, eh? Mama, eh? I don't need to be told. Everyone in school knows that I am a married woman. They so, know? They know, of course. <laughs> I don't have time for small, small, small boys. You know, in, in that case, eh, I'll go to AK and get you a um, ring <laughs> so that you use and deceive all of them. Mama, let me eh? go back. Let me be going to no, oh. late. Eh, but don't run, oh. ah, you mama. know, if you run, your bumbo will start Bye -bye. shaking. Walk small, small. Uh -huh. Stop running now. Ah. <laughs> easy, yo. Easy. Hi, baby. How are you doing? Yes, my name is Seudoka. Please, can I know your name? My name is Chinyaka. Oh, Chinyaka. 
Do you live around this place? Yes, I'm from this village, but I school in Talking Pain Vocational Institute. Mm. How may I help you? Um, I just want to talk something with you. Please, can I have your number? <laughs> talk something with me, how? Sorry, sir, I, I, I don't give my numbers to strangers. I don't even know you, so why would I give you my number? Uh, please, just let me have your number. It's very important, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sir, I don't give my number to strangers here. Please. I don't have time to talk to you. Please. Bye-bye. Hey. I said I don't want to talk to you. Just like that. Apart from the approval of the king, what else do we do to make sure that the deity, this deity, Anama, leaves this land? Anama is from our neighboring village. If the staff of Anama, deity, return to Umwana deity, it will never return again. But the staff must live with blood. Human blood? It is the chief priest that will determine the edge they want. What do we do now? Convince your king. Can you see this tradition is killing now? Can you see it doesn't suit this generation? Can you see our people dying on daily base? Can you see things are getting out of hand? So should we ignore it? Mommy, oh, we miss you. We miss you so much. How are you? Patrick, I suggest you take your wife home to perform the necessary rituals. Doctor cannot allow a wife to dance down the market as well, naked. Would you rather prefer to remain mad for, for the rest of her life? Doctor, is there anything else we can do? Eh? Nothing. Just prayers. And as long as she remains here, there is no guarantee that she will be fine anytime soon. So I suggest you take her home. Suggest. Still thinking about Patrick and his wife? I can't stop blaming myself for what that family is going through. If I didn't sack Patrick, his wife wouldn't have gone to sleep with another man just to get him another job. Such a deep sacrifice for God. He lost his job for the love he has for his wife. 
and his wife in turn went beyond borders to get him a job. Honestly speaking, a lot is pressed down for family to stay up. If only I knew what I know now. I won't have divorced him. I was waiting for you to say that. But you were too intelligent to watch your love. And you let it go. Now I understand the value of love. I wish I can turn back the hands of time. I wish I can right all my wrongs. It is not too late. All you need to do is to try and love. You know what? You have to try and make peace with people you've heard, including Edwin. If possible, <laughs> go back to him. I mean, that guy still loves you. No. I don't think he will accept me again. You know how uncomfortable he was being with me. Huh? You can't believe it. Just give a try. A try will convince you. Stop this. Oh my God. It's okay. I'm happy you've realized your mistake. Come down, come on. Nigerian Bar Association, Oka. Federation of Women Lawyers, Abuja. Jesus. Women Affairs Ministry, Protect. How much is here are some envelopes? The men say that they are from the Ministry of Women Affairs. Hi. How did he get to know all these ministries and the activists? Yeah, but I got. Oh no. Could you believe that that little boy has reported me to all manner of ministries, international lawyers, agencies, both within and outside Nigeria? Emeka? Emeka. In fact, if you see the number of visitors I've received in this my palace within the past few days, it is mind blowing. Hi. Everybody, all of them, women lawyers, they are all interested in this case now. Igwe, that small boy cannot threaten you. Find a way to silence him. Just deal with him and he will keep calm. Oh no, you don't seem to understand. At this point in time, it is needless dealing with him. Even my personal lawyer. He's against this tradition. Then find another law in here. Don't allow them to bend you against the tradition and culture of the land. Oh. Oh. I underestimated that boy. Igwe, I suggest you call him. Tell him to desist from fighting the truth. If he refuses, then I will handle him myself. I, 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 can you see this tradition is killing us? Can you see it doesn't suit this generation? Can you see our people dying on their knees? 
Two of my wives danced around the village naked. Nobody talked about changing it. Now that it has gotten to other people, you want to stop it over my dead body. It will never happen. I'd rather die than watch this happen. Everybody that laughed at my family, they must take a fair share of their disgrace. Allah nine. <laughs> you are an episode of beauty. I love you so much. I can't live a day without you. <laughs> My life will have no meaning without you. Yeah. No, but I have to. That's the thing about it. I think I'm just the name that I have. You know, a part of the pain. Emeka, the king, someone is the palace. Now. Now, why? It's okay, honey. I'll be back shortly. Lead the way. Please come back, okay? It's okay, I'll be back. I'll sit here and wait for you. It's okay. Okay, let me know why the Igwe wants to see me, okay? Move now. Move now. Oh, you want to carry me on your head? Move, I said it's not my copper. Move, I beg. Nine, please. Okay. Is manipulating. Greetings, Your Majesty. You asked me to see you. Keep your greeting to yourself. I don't need it. Why do you trouble me? Why? Your Majesty, the tears on the faces of our people is what is pushing me. Please listen to the words of reasoning. Now listen, listen, let me warn you for the very last time. The wind that will carry you from this palace, where it will drop you, not even the greatest seer will help you locate your way home. Your majesty. Agumba. The kind of threats I got from the Igwe, I have never ever gotten such kind of threat from anybody since I was born. Memeka, you will get more than that in coming days. In as much as you have accepted to do what your father could not do, just get your mind ready to take heavy things. Agumba, I need you to protect me from that Igwe. The Igwe's intention towards me are evil. Which were there to see the way he looked at me. Mm -hmm. He has evil agenda towards my life. Please, I need you to protect me. Just be strong and brave. But have it at the back of your mind that you have the backing of Agumba. Okinkita Jisya Nyoko. Nothing spiritual can harm you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello, oh, no, Mume. Hey. Hmm. Patrick. I think you should take your wife home and perform the rituals. I've been harboring these thoughts for a long time now. I can't really face the shame. I can't even imagine it. You know what? I have been thinking. 
but I'm not sure you'll like it. What is it? Would you love to live in Canada with your family? Of course, yes. Yes. Only if I can get a job there. You know what? I have been making plans to send you and your family to live in Canada. I have secured a job for you there. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. So take your wife home and go perform the ritual. After that, you and your family will be flown out. to apologize to her. I cheat on her too, and nothing happens to me. This law that favors only men is really not good. I will have to take her away from this village to save her the shame of being around these people that have seen her nakedness. My love, I have not treated you fairly, but from now on, 
I will make it up to you. Mika! Mika! Uh, what is it? Mika! How am I? What happened? Can't get what happened, man? What happened? The worst has happened, Mika! What has happened? I can't even see what I saw, Mika. You have to come to me. You have to see the worst that happened. Tradition is killing out. Can you see it doesn't suit this generation? Can you see our people dying on any base? Can you see hey. things are getting out of hand? So should we ignore it? Or end it? Or end it? Can you? So she I I I I I am a what's the meaning of this? Come I the precious meat that you have killed. My wife committed to die. Because she was surrendered. Yes, because she was disgraced and the kept what he was saying that she should be there. She committed to that as a result of that. He could go and tell her number. Go and tell her number to be able to differentiate between his fidelity and wealth. He could go and tell her number that he could. But what was he not said he could? She was raped. You should, she be was not. you should be ashamed to tell the world that you married a promiscuous wife. But no, but no. Our wife is not promiscuous. If we go and tell Nama, then our Nama should be able to defend everything. I need to be able to defend If we please, if we why didn't your daughter marry in our village? Why? Mm. Why did they marry for me? Oh. If you have some question, Igwe, where is our Lolo? Igwe, when our Lolo was in Igwe, you sent her abroad. Where is our Lolo? The dead one that's in our Lolo, Igwe. But this year, sorry, Igwe, Lolo is nowhere to be found, Igwe. Igwe, you must tell us where Lolo is. DJ, I'll show you, Igwe. Where is our Lolo? Me you tell this lad. Ask your Igwe. Where is our Lolo Igwe? Igwe, get a little Lolo Igwe. Obvious that the queen was manipulated by Anama. I had to consult the gods today to be sure. Um, what did they sell? I guess right. I had to consult the gods today to be sure. And what did they say? I guess right. She cheated on you. What? Lolo had the guts to shit on me. Oh, 
wonder. She always complained that I come fast. Your Majesty, at this moment, we should think of sending an ally away from our land. Why? Why will you say it like that? I foresee bigger problems coming in the future. There is no way I would have known that Lolo was cheating on me. Yeah? It's an insult on me. But not just me. The, the, the throne of my forefathers. No, and my remains. What about law, Majesty? You know it will be unheard of to hear that the law of the sitting king of Okutu was made to dance around the village naked. It should not even be told in a story. Let her remain mad forever. That's a price for cheating on me. The story will bust the eardrum. How would people feel when they see their love loitering the street in madness? No. I would rather send her to America. Let her remain there forever. This won't bring shame on me. The fact that nothing remains a secret forever should have made you consider my suggestion. Or the queen will be fine before anyone gets to hear of it. But who am I to refuse the king's order? Anger is about to cost me my pride as a king. Something needs to be done urgently. I better eat my vomit than to face more humiliations. This will create more awareness and give the foolish boy more points to write on me. I better give them what they want. Go and call him now. Go and call him. Go and call him. Why not We will not live here if we don't get what we want. Yes. Listen, nobody lives here except we get what we want. Yes. yes. My people, I've heard your cries. I stand here today to declare that Anama be taken away from this kingdom and never to return again. Igwe! Igwe! Can you see this tradition is killing out? Can you see it doesn't suit this generation? Can you see our people dying on any base? Can you see things are getting out of hand? So should we know it? So should we ignore it? Oh, I may not A tradition By your goal Can you burn woman and now I may this tradition Oh, I may not I may this tradition Can you burn woman and now I may this tradition Oh, I may not I may this tradition is manipulating our people. I saw you shaking right now. Are you suffering from epilepsy or you're crying? No, tell me. So you are still crying? Hey! Why do you want to drown yourself in your own tears? Eh? I have told you, you still have a lot to achieve in life. Why are you crying like one who has lost hope? Why? Auntie, 
Auntie! Huh? My word is crumbling as if I did something abominable. Says who? What did I do to deserve this? Kevin men. What did I ever no, do no, no, to no, deserve no, no, this? No, 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 no. You did not. And you have no right to question God. Even my very self cannot question the Almighty. You know, God has a way of doing things. Maybe He purposely took her out of the way so that He will bring to you a suitable wife that will bring you into fulfillment. You understand that? No. I don't need a wife. Eh? I don't need a wife. No, you need a wife. No, I don't need another wife. I said you need a wife that will, you know, help you do things that you're going around sleeping with all this. You know, there is what we call Staphylococcus and um, I've forgotten that other name. Eh? Um, um, jen, jen, jen. I said I don't need a wife! You need a wife! I said I don't need a wife! Don't you get it? I said I don't need another need wife. wife! The one I got for myself before brought me shame and misfortune! I said I don't need another wife! And see, see before, if you know you're coming here, it's to advise me to get another wife! Then I would advise you to stop coming to my house! Eh? Now get out of my house! And the see before! She will come and see before! I wouldn't even come from me to be cool! Now get out of my house! Ati, huh? get out of my house! I said you should get out of my house! Now for me, sleep in poor! Eke? Ori? Afo? Mpwa? Eke? Ori? Afo? Mpwa? Hmm? Anamano? Afya na ano, uzo na ano. Now the journey begins. We need a volunteer. Who will be brave enough to lose his life if need be? How many volunteers do we need? Just one person who is ready to lose his life to face anything that comes his way. I will find him. We can't afford to waste more time on this issue. Let us go. Okay now? Let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> The dice is cast. Okay. What do we do now? Hmm. I think uh, we should all go home and uh, discuss with our sons. You know. I'm sure somehow we might get a volunteer. Hmm? I think that's all we need. Uh, what if we don't get? As you can see now, it has gotten to the point where life and death is considered. And I don't think we can get any volunteer at this point. Hmm. What do we do now? That is the big question. Uh, I wish we would get an answer soon. Let us go. Let's, hmm? Let's think about it. Let's go it. home and uh, think about it. But share that trigger. Ah, sons, I mean, okay, something like that. Okay, make it a point. Mm. Mm? All right. Okay. Good night, guys. See you. Can you 
see this tradition is killing out? Can you see it doesn't suit this generation? Can you see a people dying in the Greetings, my friend. Hello. Iwe. What did I just say? Sit down. Oh no. That boy Emeka brought many lawyers, human rights activists into this matter. This is the offense of the spirit. The government doesn't meddle in the affairs of the spirit. Is that what you are going to tell them? Even the chief priest has already told them the possibility of abolishing this particular tradition. In fact, that Emeka made this throne so hot for me these past few days. You should have silenced that boy. Mm. In fact, you shouldn't allow that boy to be a problem to you. How can that small boy bend your decision? Come to think of it, do we even have personal gain in this practice? You forgot that if they do this, you are alone with the world. Oh no. She has been mad close to 10 years now. Isn't that enough punishment for her? See, I don't have the strength to stand before these lawyers to fight for something that the people I'm fighting for are not even interested in. It will cost me a lot of money. See, Emeka's wife took her life all because of this practice. It will cost me so much money. Oh no. It will cost me money. <laughs> this means that the young boy, the silly young boy, has won. If that's what it means, so be it. So far it pleases my people. I stand with my people on this. Agumba. Why not cow head? Why not chicken head? Why not goat head? Must it be human head? Mm. Must it be human sacrifice before we can return Anama? The native doctor who brought the Anama for us was murdered here. So people will like to kill whoever returns the Anama. But normally, it is not supposed to cost human head. And Agumba, I want to return the Anama myself. But I'm not going to return it in the usual way. I am returning it in a modern way. I'll go with policemen to return Anama. If possible, I'll go with soldiers and me to return it. <laughs> they will have no choice than to collect back their gates while I return back with my own life. <laughs> you mean you want to return Anama? Agumba, I want to return Anama myself. Uh. Hey, hey. <laughs> Oh no, Chiaga. 
<laughs> to, to Ali Godi. I was on my way coming to, to, to the house. My mommy meet my husband to be. Eh? Your husband to be? Chalo? Chia? Is it me to who? Mama, meet my husband to be. The man that I want to marry. In that pose, you know. If you don't to pose, kiss him your husband to be. In that poala. Eh? Your husband to be. Why are you in a book? This is not Patrick. But Mama, I know he's not Patrick. But he's the one that I want to marry. Oh, you're the one that wants to marry him and not the other way around. Anyone. Anyone. You are joking. Now, who are you? Hey, mama, you are a businessman from Ozobro Kingdom. Are there not beautiful girls in Ozobro? Must it be my son's wife? Eh? Your wife to be? Are you mad? A girl has spent all my money training the university for son to marry. Hey, mama. Mama. But she has told me a lot about you. How much you people have helped her life. And I'm ready to pay everything. Shut up! You are ready to compensate me. Eh? You want to compensate me? In Apuala? In Boyala? You want to compensate? You want to marry my son's wife? Eh? You want to marry my son's wife? You want to compensate him? Are you mad? I my husband, I am pregnant. I want. Chalo? Is she pregnant? Uh, is she pregnant? Is there a question? Is she pregnant? Are you pregnant for him? Yes, Mama. He impregnated you? Okay, I'll give it to you. Can can you see see it I'll put my father to get some. Oh, easy. I'll give you see this get home. Home. Is it, is it, is it. So I'll give it to you. Oh, okay. ah! What? What? What is it? Ah! What is it? What is it? What is it? What's, what's this? As if something left my head. Do you still want it hot? So I can give it to you very hot. Hot what? Want what hot? You know I don't like hot food. What, what are you talking about? My wife is fine. My wife is fine now. This is good news. <laughs> this is not happening. This is good news. My dear. Are you okay? Why are you talking about forgiveness? I've forgiven you a long time ago. I've missed you so much. My wife is fine. <laughs> Oh my god. My wife is fine. Oh my god. Sweetheart. You're fine.
day, sir. Oh, good day. Ah, Patrick. Annabelle. Okay. Please come. Annabelle, come, 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 come. Patrick. My wife is fine. Oh, thank the gods. Imeka has returned your four of Anama deity to Ngo. That means the marital law against women in this kingdom has been broken. I heard he is back now and people are celebrating him at the village square. I want to join them. It's okay, let me take Annabelle home. First I will come and celebrate with him. Please, when you get home, be careful of your mother. Chinyaka came this morning to inform her she's getting married. And she's mad since morning. But it's okay. Chinyaka called and I've talked with her. You have my support. It's okay. It's okay. Honey, who is Chinyaka? It's okay, my dear. I will tell you everything. Okay? Hi. Let's go. Baba, I will okay. see you later. It's okay. Bye bye, sir. All right, my dear. Sorry. Hmm. About my children. Mama, they are fine. I heard they have returned the Anama to Mo. You see, we spend our time fighting a war that even if we win, we're not going to get a reward for winning. Please, forgive me for all the things I have done to you. Become one. It's okay, Mama. I've forgiven you a long time ago. Everything oh. is fine. You're forgiving me. Yes. Hey, what about the kids? Where are they? I'm out there in the city. I'll bring them to you tomorrow. Please do. Let's go inside. Mm. Come, 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 come. Let's go. Don't worry, can't you then? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> they go. Eh? Let's go inside. Thank you. Thank you. My wife of my youth, I wish you are here to see this day. I thought the river was playing with the bull. I never knew I was taking the bull away from my reach. Hanama made me lose my wife. Beautiful days diminish like smoke. Who will help me return the hands of time? I would have right my wrongs. I would have given you my shoulders when you needed to lean on. Bobby, I love you so much. I missed you. Patrick, my man. <laughs> You're welcome to my humble abode. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. 
Ah, uh, you're welcome. Good day. Yeah, good day. How are you? Uh, please, um, be seated. Uh, Nolan. Nolan, uh, Patrick, uh, you can also see too. It's I your house. I to thank you for what <laughs> you did for my people. Oh, that. Once again, thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. I thank God for giving me the privilege to do that. It might not do easy. I'm not working on working. Um, this is Anita. Okay. My very good friend. Wow. You're welcome. Thank you. I heard about your great exploits and I decided to come and pay homage to you. Thank you. <laughs> I came to offer you a job in my company. Wow. It comes with a fat salary, other allowances, including a house. <laughs> This is good news. <laughs> I, I love this news. Wow. I'm very happy. But unfortunately, the governor's offered me a, a job in the state house. So, huh? <laughs> yes. I've been offered a job at the state house. <laughs> Thank you once again. Congratulations to you. Patrick, how have you been? They go to work at, on the adventure, adventure. <laughs> Yeah, you're looking good. <laughs> so, uh, what can I offer you? Sorry, my manners. I'm good, thank you. You sure you're okay? Now I know what it means to be married. Now I know how people can go out of their way just to keep their homes. I had a home, but I couldn't keep it. I wish I can get a second chance. I love Edwin. I made him lonely while I focused on other things. I slept with men in order to ease off the anger in my heart, which was one of the things he complained about to me. I gave my king's food to the dogs. Now I'm left alone to lick my wound. I wish I can get him back. Maybe I should go and apologize to him. What if he refuses? Anyway, I have to bring myself down this time. I need to fix my life back. Why do you want to see me? I came for us to talk. Talk? Alright. About what? Edwin. In life, we do things that doesn't really go well with time. But as time goes, it comes around. But I have you told her that we are now married. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, uh, Anita, you knew her already. Sandra. Anita, I remember. I'm sorry, I can see that already. Sorry, sorry for the disturbance. No, no, Anita, you're not disturbing us. No. Anita, I'm not angry with you. No, but by the way, you're not disturbing us. Uh, listen, I notice we have different ideologies about marriage. So, I just have to end it. And the only way you can have peaceful marriage is for you to 
Find someone that reason the way you reason. That's all. Someone that reason the way you do. I am short of words. All I can say is I have learned my lesson. It's okay. I wish you both the best in your marriage. Can you see this tradition is gaining now? Can you see it doesn't suit this generation? Can you see our people dying on any base? Can you see things are getting out of hand? So should we ignore it? Oh, I mean it. Oh, I love you. Oh, So should we ignore it? Oh, I mean it. Our tradition. Oh, you're cool.